Hey everybody, welcome to the live stream, the B80 Pro Stout Month Brew Day live stream. A couple quick things before we get going. Um, I just wanted to let you know if you're watching the replay, I will go ahead and put time code stamps in the first links in the video or in, in the description down below. So you can go back and kind of rewatch this and not have to watch the whole thing. And uh, oh, look who it is. Come on in. <laughs> <laughs> she made it. <laughs> glasses in hand. Yeah, awesome. So I, I will do that for those of you that are watching the replay. And then secondly, um, this is, I think, the third time that I've actually brewed on the Brew Tools B80. And uh, I got to be honest with you, and I know the Brew Tools, got, Brew Tools guys are watching, but this was a system that kind of kicked my ass. And I'm not even joking. And Every time I looked at it in the storage area, I was kind of like, mm -hmm. and uh, so, you know, I've kind of hesitated on brewing on it and hemmed and hawed around and everything. And then finally, you know, the, the, the brew tools guys were awesome and sent me the steam hat and all that stuff, which we're going to use today to try to cut down on all the steam that just filled the entire basement. But um, just honest, full disclosure, you know, that that's, that's kind of where I've been with it. And, uh, you know, huge thanks for the, for the guys at Brew Tools for letting me hang on to this thing for as long as I have, even though I haven't brewed on it. So we're going to give it a shot today and we're going to take you with us on the whole thing. So, Hi, you know, Mary. buckle up and uh, <laughs> let's get, let's enjoy the ride. So, <laughs> um, is the audio okay? Everything good? I, I, I wanted to do some, uh, lavalier mics, like wireless lavalier mics, but the system that I had actually, it was a lot of interference picking up and everything. So I'm actually doing like a boom mic up here at the top. I did something a little bit differently than what I used to do in the past because every time, if you watch live streams before, you know, every time about halfway through or, you know, maybe an hour or so, I just start sounding like this. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Uh... <laughs> hey, Kenny. Hey, Ben. Hey, Justin. Hey, Alan. Biracoy County, Hop Rod Garage, C CJ Digger 87, Aaron D. Hey, hey awesome from uh, Paris. Awesome. All right, cool. Wow. Uh, there. guy, awesome. So if you guys can see kind of in the screen, let me see if I can do this here. In the screen right here, that is actually a camera that I have down on the uh, Brew Tools control panel. And I, is anything blocking it on your screen when you're looking at it? Um, I don't know if, if everything is good, but uh, Hi, just wanted you guys to be able to see. I'm actually using the brew. I use the Brewfather app to create the recipe, and then actually I'm also going to do the recipe mode. Um, so we'll run through all that stuff, and then, like I said, we're going to use the wow. this uh, <coughs> gigantic this thing is a beast. steam <laughs> condenser. I got to be honest with you. I put it all together and and got it all assembled, and this thing is. It is both impressive and intimidating at the same time. So, uh, hey, Jamie Strada, Justin, Tom, Ryan, Henry. Well, we got a whole bunch of people on here today. Yeah, awesome. Nice. Natural Bogazi. Or Netanel. 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 Sorry if we butchered your name. So, well, real quickly, it matters. It's there, right? real quickly, I just want to kind of run through. Uh, I've got the base system the base uh, b80 um i do have two three-way valves uh they sent me the chiller so i've got the chiller that's hooked up to the system um i do also have an extra sensor port for over here this is i'm just kind of going over what all i've got with the system that uh doesn't it come with just a stock standard version of it um, and then obviously the steam hat is another accessory and then the condenser is another accessory on top of that that I just showed you guys. So, um, did do a test run last night with the steam hat, getting everything all kind of dialed in. And uh, I think. From awesome. Van awesome. Wilm Van Arkel. Can everybody see the chat and everything on the screen okay? I struggle with I spent probably an hour trying to get that set up this morning. I, it, for some reason, OBS wouldn't let it run. And then I. For That's why something, I made you a good breakfast. Jeez. So, anyway. <laughs> <clears throat> the stuff we do. So I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, recipe mode. And I've got uh, Kelly's stout because I'm brewing this for Kelly. Yay! We're doing a 10 gallon batch, incidentally. 
And uh, so it says start brewing, so I'm going to go ahead and hit that. Hit the green check mark. And I see. And then it says uh, prepare to brew. It's up there on the screen there. Oh, okay. Oh. Prepare to brew. And uh, it says fill the system, which I already have. And it's telling me that it's going to start heating the strike water. i got to crank on the element. And it goes through a couple of confirmations. Now, the whole point and of then this is to keep things contained completely. What's, yeah, it, that's to cut down on the steam and everything. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the pump on and get some recirculation going. And you guys can kind of see as we go through there. Let me, uh, let me do this real quick here. And transition over to That's very user -friendly, it looks like that screen there so you guys can see what's going on. <laughs> yeah, no kidding, Beer Quiet. Definitely does make it look like a monster. <laughs> hey, Nick. How's it going, buddy? Hey, Nick, I got to tell you, I got a ton of feedback on the containers and everything from uh, the Dollar Tree. So, awesome. Thanks for the tip on that. You know, oh, I kind of stole it from you. And uh, I tried to give you props everywhere I could on it. And I know you kind of stole it from Martin over at uh, the Homebrew Challenge. So, you know, we're just perpetuating the, uh, the, the hobby. So, awesome. Thanks for that tip, Nick. Uh, Pepe Erickson, awesome Ryan, Dennis, and Katie Penn. Cool. Beer barbecue, Larry at the uh, winging, uh, swinging the, uh, the the band wrench. <laughs> He's got brew device envy. Awesome. All right, uh, middle for. All right, Wilm Van Arkel. I know my guy. Uh, the, the, and for you guys, if you're interested in this system, obviously we're gonna brew on it today. But one of the things, there's, there's a guy that's got a channel, and i got to give a shout-out to him. Um, it's a fairly new channel. Uh, Portly Gentleman. Go look him up. He's got a ton of videos on the B80, taking the valves apart, assembling it. He just did, like, two different videos on three- and four-valve setups. So he's putting together some really good content over there. So definitely be sure and uh, go check him out if you're interested in more, like, how-to stuff on the B80. You know, I'm going to be brewing on it today. If you notice, <coughs> actually have the, it looks like we've hit our temperature there. So I've actually, let me switch back over so I can talk to you guys here. So I've actually got the, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, so if you notice, I'm actually a little farther out. Like this is, the hood is right here. And it's hard to tell with the, with the video camera, but I actually installed a, a hook up here, an eyelet up here. So I'm actually going to use a winch today. To pull the basket up out of this thing, it's got like 24 or 25 pounds of grain a in it. Well, it's not, it's like a hand winch kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, very funny. Yeah, <laughs> All right. Hey, Bradley, what's happening? Thanks, Christian. I appreciate it. The only thing that's a little bit annoying about this, because I, I ran it through the, the recipe startup steps, it continues to beep for a long time, and I don't know if there's a way to shorten that up or whatever. Maybe the Groot Tools guys can. Uh, uh, figure out a way to let it beep a few times and then stop because it will continue to beep and beep and beep and beep. So um, I almost forgot. I do need to That's get a really good alarm clock. Yeah, right. <laughs> exactly. I do need to get my uh, flaked barley real quick. And incidentally, the recipe for what we're brewing today is in the description down below. I'm sharing it, you know, off of the Brewfather app. So there's a link down below if you want to see what we're brewing and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Uh, Pretty interesting. This thing, thing is huge. <laughs> How heavy is it, honey? Um, it's probably just the unit itself is probably fifty pounds, yeah. something like that. Somewhere around that neighborhood. Something like that. It's it's pretty darn heavy, I know that much. So let me see here. Okay, two pounds. Hi Island Brew. Hey Jonas. <clears throat> You can switch to continues or a few beeps in settings. Tom Helch. Okay. Uh, Tom. That shows you my lack of uh, lack of knowledge of the system. Well, you've been studying it hardcore recently. Thank you for that. Hi, Nick. Okay, so is your recipe on there right now? Is that what it's you're actually, telling them? Yeah, that, that's what's up. That's what's up in the. Uh, Okay. There. Let, me, uh, let me dump this on top of here real quick. Kenny, hey, off topic, but what what are you guys planning for NHC? I'm planning to attend. 
Yeah, we're gonna be there. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, we'll be there for sure. Pop earrings and all. <laughs> yeah, right. Brian will wear them too. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Somebody's laughing. Everything in your uh, your recipe is a uh, metric. No, it's not. Hi, Dr. Han. They probably, want, they probably wanted to be metric. Yeah. You put laugh out loud. Okay. So, yeah, that's that's, that's a lot of grain. I don't know if you guys cool. can see that or not, but uh, let me they can't see. Switch. Can they? Yeah, yeah we can, they can see. We just can't, they just can't uh, see us here. Okay. Or, here, I'll show that's you. That's good. There's a seven and a half uh, gallon container with all the grains in it. It's <laughs> a lot. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a bunch. So, all right. Okay, let me uh, let me grab a scoop real quick. I think we need to go into settings on this. I know. Change I right now, though. I know. If I do anything, it's going to proceed with the mash in. So it is okay. I know. If I can help, let me know. Okay. Turn off. Darn it. Let's see here. You know what? I'm going to have to I'm going to have to abort the recipe cycle because I need to turn the pump off. So let me go into, okay, it's off. All right, we'll go back into recipe mode. Very user friendly. Yeah, just start it over. And uh, we'll go ahead and not let the beep go on. And, uh, should we uh, should we adjust the camera so you guys can watch us mash in or what? What, what should we do there? Hey, Kenny. Yeah, it is a uh, stout. Let me uh, adjust the camera here. I'll go over here. Okay. You go over there. <laughs> Give me some room. All right, let's see here. Yes, it is. Whoops. Bear with me for just one second here. Try to get this. Uh, okay. Try to get this thing all set up here. All right, there we go. Uh, roasted barley and chocolate malt. I've used them independently, but not together. Yeah, I mean, I, I like I like using uh, roasted barley and chocolate malt at the same time. I mean, I think it adds some uh, complexity to the beer. Oh. Um, Make a mess here. Yeah. Get some of this mashed in. I was gonna say it's yeah. gonna take forever. Well, I just want to get it down where we can yeah. actually pick it up and pour it. So. Right. Let me grab the mash, mash that here. Do you want to come on the other side? Yep. Yeah. Get this thing mashed in here. Compliments of Mike. It is full. I'm gonna go ahead and crank on the okay. hood all the way here. Yeah, it's fine. My favorite part. Hey, new to homebrew. Saw your uh, house video the other day, man. You are you are biting off a whole lot of bunch of stuff. I don't envy you at all, man. <laughs> it's crazy what all you're doing. But you know what? It'll be it'll be nice when you get done. So that's the good part about it. Sounds like somebody I know. Yeah. Oh no, he's like they're completely renovating. They live over in uh, I think it's Manchester, England. Really? And they just bought a house and I guess over there. And I don't know. Maybe Tom, you can chime in on this, but he's like plastering the whole wall. I guess it's a practice that they do over there. Wow. So like it's it's got plaster on the whole freaking wall. It was uh, it was crazy. But the new house that they bought has a pretty nice brew space. It's gonna have a, a big uh, brew shed. So cool. <clears throat> plaster in the girls' room today. Awesome. <laughs> oh yeah, the jacket. The jacket was the other thing that doesn't come normally with the with the system by itself.
and it is not changing color yet because I don't have any of the dark greens. The dark greens are kind of at the bottom. So. Stir it away. Gotta get down that close so it doesn't make as much dust. Oh, and then the other thing too that is different than most of the systems is um, the new center pipe, which is very, very nice, by the way. I have to applaud the guys at Brew Tools for redesigning it completely um, it's got a bunch of good silicone o-rings in it now Bradley just did something uh, uh, um, did a video on his channel on it um, breaking gravity I think it was probably from like I think it was about from 70 degrees to 157 was I don't know it was maybe like 35 40 minutes at the most it, it was I was running uh, full 6,000 uh, watts of power so it was uh, it was heating up pretty quick I got it on a 30 amp GFI circuit, so well, we're coming to the dark greens here shortly. Now one of the things I'll do with this, um, and I've been doing this with a lot of the systems that I use in general, is I'll let this rest for 10 minutes before, hey, what's up Gary? We'll let this rest for 10 minutes before we actually start recirculating. And that's one of the things about the new center pipe that looks pretty good is that it doesn't have any kind of um, it fits tightly it doesn't have any interference or anything or any uh, clearance on the center pipe and then some of the other components because there were holes in the previous center pipe uh, I don't have it right in front of me right now but here it is so yeah the, the previous center pipe had holes in the top of it up here and uh, it would let warp kind of squirt out the sides when you try to recirculate the new one does not have it, it's just a solid, complete seal, so. <clears throat> Huge. Thank you, Larry, for greeting everybody. It's like a cauldron. Yes. <laughs> Awesome. You know, Food Network mm. should have a beer show. Exactly. Yeah, we yeah we need to we need to pitch a show to Food Network to brew beer. That would be awesome. Now we're getting some of them dark greens. Yes. I think. I can probably just Unbelievable. That whole thing in there. Yeah, I know it's crazy. All right. Just keep stirring. Just keep stirring. lost me. Where did I go? <laughs> I guess I stepped out of the frame there. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I'm back. <laughs> oh, you just really want to watch Kelly stir anyways. It's, it's not, not it's about me. so exciting. <laughs> so captivating. <laughs> One of the things I found out this morning when I was setting this whole deal up is uh, cam lock fittings work really really well for this gigantic uh, one inch hose actually slide this right over top of the end of a cam lock so my my sparge water tank is actually uh, got a cam lock fitting on it and it'll work just fine so that'll be awesome yeah. stroke stroke <laughs> oh is it back now Looks like the stream is okay as far as the health of the stream goes. Let me look on the other side here. Actually, my internet provider, I have fiber now, Larry. Uh, it shouldn't uh, shouldn't have any problems, so. Okay, yeah, I don't know. Like I said, I've got 100, 100 megabytes up and 100 megabytes down, so it should be okay, I guess. I believe we're good. <laughs> yeah, 
<laughs> I'm lucky that I got fiber out here now, so that's a good thing. All right. Yay, it's YouTube. Hey, Wilm. Yeah, it's always fun to, to do a live stream and hang out with a bunch of people and watch somebody else toil away brewing beer. Well, that's looking pretty good. Yeah, it feels really good too. Yeah, mm. awesome. All right, cool. Well, we'll, uh, we'll just let that sit for a little while. And uh, let that sit for just a little bit. So it dropped down to 148. Our, our uh, mash temperature is actually 149. So once it hits the 151, there we'll uh, go ahead and let it proceed. All right. I don't think we're going to go to 156 though. I probably messed up by starting it over again. So yes, Eric, it is a 240 volt system. So. <clears throat> I don't know if there is there a way to skip forward in the recipe mode, Bradley, or anybody that knows about this. Let me go around. Um, Sorry. Hey, Stacy, what's happening, buddy? <laughs> Club toast on February seventeenth. Awesome. Well, I'll see if I can make it, or we will see if we can make it. Right on. So I don't know if I can move forward or not. I probably messed up by not following this properly. So we'll see. We'll see what happens here. Hmm. I don't know if I can skip forward. I don't see a way to do that. That's a big mash pile. Yeah, it is. <laughs> For sure. Oh, okay. Brew tools. Is there any way to? I, I don't know who I'm talking to from the brew tools folks. A friend but made it. Is there any way to advance the system if I'm if I if I'm in the recipe mode? Because I I started it over. I probably shouldn't have done that, obviously. But is there any way to advance it forward uh, without letting it? I mean, it'll probably be okay to get up to 156 because it's in the exterior of the of the. Uh, there we go. Okay. Two yeah, exit fine. twelve. We're doing ten gallons, it'll be fine. right? All right. Someone asked about the gallon or the size. Yeah, you're actually it's a 11 gallon batch. I think it is oh, really? 11 or 12 gallon batch. Okay. Because I'd just like up. to have a little bit more in the fermenter than. Yeah. <laughs> more, more. <laughs> okay, I don't know why it's beeping now. Hi, buddy. <laughs> I'm not for sure. something or what happened there maybe somebody can clue me in on what I'm doing wrong here okay currently not possible it's on the to-do list can you tell me why it's beeping now because I went ahead and advanced through the steps and it's on match step one of two so it's this is the 60 minute rest at 149 and I don't know why it's beeping right now maybe you can tell me I'm not hundred percent sure Okay, so it's, okay, I got you. So I've advanced it into the next step. Will it stop beeping at some point now? Uh, open up settings and choose three beeps. Three okay. What are the beeps indicating right now? That's what you're questioning, right? Yeah. Okay, so it's on infinite, so we'll just do three. Okay. Oh, very good. Okay, very good. All right. There thank we go. You. Awesome. awesome. Thank you. You guys have uh, you guys have improved the software dramatically since the last time I used it, and I did the update and everything. So I've got the latest software running. 
Um, the one thing that I did notice that was really nice was beep function is global, so beep is okay. Okay, I got okay, I got you. No problem. Just uh, just curiosity, and, and I think it'll be good for the other other people watching that are interested in the system to see this and, and understand how it works. And I know you guys are always improving, so thank you for being on the live stream to kind of let me know what's going on with it Fantastic. because. I, you know, I don't, I don't know everything about it. And I think I said that at the beginning of the, of the, uh, the live stream here that, you know, I'm, this is like the third brew on it. So I'm by no means an expert. So I'm going to kind of let you guys learn along with me as we already have. But you've learned a ton on it. <laughs> it's a beautiful system. Oh yeah. It's, it's so definitely, sleek. it's a beast. <laughs> yeah. For sure. It is a beast. I think it's very interesting. Very well built. Very nice. For sure. So. And then this was separate, right? This doesn't come in. Okay. All right. Very good. Yeah. So I'm, I'm glad you guys are getting some feedback live here while we're while we're doing this. And oh, it's if, boy. if anybody can screw it up or make it work wrong, like it's not supposed to, it's me. <laughs> you do a lot. Of I do that all right, the time at work. I'm like, the program is not working properly. They're like, what'd you do? I'm like, I did this and this and this and this. And they're like, nobody's ever done that before. <laughs> uh, yes, it is pretty, uh, Gary. Wait till uh, wait till you see the the steam hat and everything. It's it is it is a thing of beauty. Let me tell you what it it's, is. It's, it's something else. It's, it's crazy. So, yeah, I tell you. Uh, <laughs> thanks, guys. I certainly appreciate it, and uh, I'm glad to have you guys on the live stream. And uh, so, if you guys have any questions for the Brew Tools folks who are actually watching, uh, whether you realize it or not, and uh, if you got any questions, just pipe up and ask them because they're here, and uh, I'm sure they're willing to ask any questions. Brew Tools. So. We're here to hold your hand, Brian. That's right. <laughs> that is a good feeling because it's a little intimidating. I mean, it's a... It's yeah, a Ryan, absolutely. No, no problem at all. I love um, it. You'd have to ask Bradley about that. I, I know he does five-gallon batches on it. I'm not sure exactly what he does, if he does anything different to, to do anything with that or not. But, um, <laughs> you know, it's. Uh, I know you can do five-gallon batches on it. Um, you know, Francisco, I, I, I do, I've been, I made a post about this the other day with the three vessel system. I, I do love it. I just, I love the taking the hoses off yeah. and doing all that stuff. And you like to keep I don't busy. know. Yeah. This I just, is something I like. I like to, yeah, I mean, I, I like this too. I like this too. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> but it's like, you know, I just, I love the, you the whole complexity yeah. of doing the hoses and all that kind all of stuff. And, you know. There's so many different things you can make beer on and good beer. Mm -hmm. So it's just, it kind of comes down to a personal preference. I think if, if somebody wants a large system and has limited space, this is absolutely awesome system for yeah. that because I mean, you can fit all this stuff An onto apartment. a bench. I mean, yeah, apartment, you might be a little bit of a stretch, oh, but <laughs> I would fit that. But with the steam hat that they come out <laughs> with, it's, it's amazing how i mean there's no steam comes out of it at all it's it's mm -hmm. just, it's it's completely steam free it's quiet. i had it cranked up to sleep while you're brewing beer yeah i had it cranked up to 80 percent last night with the the uh the steam hat on there running just a minimal amount of pressure through the the spray nozzle and it was knocking all the steam down and and actually the water coming out of the steam uh condenser was pretty cool so it, it's uh it's really nice would you start with it um, you know, I don't know exactly, Kenny, because I did not purchase this one. It's actually on loan from the guys at Brew Tools. So, I, I, as far as U.S. dollars, I'm I'm thinking I'm going to make a guess that it's probably somewhere in the neighborhood of about um, thirty-five hundred dollars, something like that, hmm. somewhere around that neighborhood. We don't own this. By no, I yeah, I don't own it. <laughs> um, also, if hmm. you were starting over. Yeah, I was talking about that a minute oh, ago. Okay. Yeah. I See, I, I would. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know, I do love it, and that's that's kind of what I first started doing electric brewing on. Now, granted, for sure, there wasn't all of this stuff available whenever I started doing electric yeah. brewing, yeah. so it was kind of like, you know, it and Brew in a Bag was big in Australia, but beyond that, you know, it's one of those things where, cool, thanks, Larry. Uh, B80 if you do re <laughs> yeah. Oh. yeah, exactly. If thanks, you're constantly Larry. changing out the pipe work and adding sensors and and calibrating and rebuilding your control panel and and insert whatever other thing that you want to do <laughs> thomas is always uh always building stuff so <laughs> <laughs> okay i don't know what uh pepe erickson said but i'm it looks like it was funny <laughs> oh, I love uh that. yeah 
yeah, six, 629. So, yeah, so what about the uh, the steam hat and the condenser? I think those are those are additional on top of it. So, uh, I think you can actually do, I think you could do like a, okay. you could probably do a 15 gallon batch size on this, depending on the gravity. I mean, you're not going to brew 15 gallons of an Imperial Stout or right. something like that. But, I mean, if, if you looked at the, we have we still have quite a bit of room yeah. left for grain and, and, and water and all that stuff. So, you know, I, I don't see a reason why why you couldn't brew a 15 gallon batch. I need to check my brew father recipe, as a matter of fact, here because I'm trying to think if I adjusted the profile for the steam hat. Does anybody have any experience with the steam hat and the condenser? How much the boil off is in that? And Francisco kinda... Brian is just like you. <laughs> I <laughs> love it too. The technical aspect. Uh, yeah. It's just fun. system, I mean the Brewfather app updates as you go. Hot Frog said 5 liters in an hour with the condenser. Yeah, I'm assuming, okay, 5 liters in an hour with the condenser. Okay, I, I don't have a reference of how many gallons that is. Uh, it's The default profile said 1.98. Uh, boil off reduction about 40-45% steam that condenser. Yeah, so I mean at 70% it probably probably boils, I mean, rigorously because I had it on 80% last night and it was, I mean, it was jumping in there. It was, it was kind of hard to see. I had to do a, uh, a flashlight to see it, but oh. okay. So yeah. Oh, so if we're, bright, bright. if, um, yeah, so, okay. 232. Okay. So it's, it's actually less than, uh, what I thought then. So that's, that's, uh, that's pretty good actually. So yeah. So I mean, probably, yeah, right around, I think if I'm doing my math properly, right around three grand, something like that. 1.32 gallons. Per, okay, cool. All right. So I will, because I've got like five gallons in here to sparge with. So I'll sparge with just a little bit less than that, and uh, we should be good. So. <coughs> I will place an order for about a thousand, but have no discount coupon. <laughs> uh -huh. I, I don't have any discount coupon codes. To be honest with you guys. Uh. I'm not brewing an imperial stout. I'm just doing like an American stout. Uh, it'll wind up probably being about six percent alcohol, Perfect. something like that. Yeah, so that's my thing. Yeah, it'll be it'll be a, a drinker. So, like I said, mm -hmm. not doing an imperial stout. I did do an imperial stout on it once before, yeah. and it was uh, it was wrought with problems on my end. So. <laughs> hey, what's up, bass guitarist? Howdy, Mush B guy. My B80 is uh, mounted on a two by three. Yeah, I was gonna say it, it, it actually worked worked really good. So, awesome. All right, so we just crossed over the 10 minute mark, and I'm gonna go ahead and start doing a little recirculation here. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the pump up a little bit. And that is at uh, 21%. So I'm going to probably just like let it run there for right now to this give it a chance for to. A brewery for sure. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I mean, you could definitely do a uh, microbrewery with this with no problem at all. As long as you weren't uh, trying to distribute or anything. So it looks like it's recirculating pretty good. Level of uh, it's all nice and neat and tidy. And clean. Liquid in the exterior of the kettle is right there. As you can see probably. So looking pretty good. Oh my God. Uh, recipe uh, Marlock is in the description. Uh, there's a there's the app to the Brewfather recipe. Um, basically, it's two row, um, some roasted barley, some chocolate malt, a little bit of uh, uh, caramel 120, and a little bit of caramel 60. Yum. Yeah. So, should be a good, good little, uh, good little taster there. It's sort of like the chocolate fountain. Um, finished volume um, is 
I think my recipe was set for like 11 or 12 gallons. Let me see here real quick what it was. Yeah, so I'm targeting 12 gallon, 12 gallon back size. That way I can have plenty. Uh, Make sure you have the loop through the coil going into the left valve. Loop through the coil going into the left valve. The left is in facing. Or I'm not circulating through the the chiller right now. Mm -hmm. Should I be doing that? I am not doing that. I'm just circulating up through Can you the lower center. the center pipe so that the wart spread under the surface? No, you cannot. It, it is a, it's a fixed size. It doesn't have any kind of adjustment or anything. Make sure you have the loop through the coil going into the left valve. No, is he facing? Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what he means there. If he's talking about the... Are the, we facing it for the left valve? Yeah. Because I don't have any, I don't have anything circulating through the, the the chilling coil right now. No. At all. I could, but I don't. You should circulate through the chiller and back into. Okay. The okay. Yeah, okay. So that so, so they keep it. Uh, okay. I got you. So and then I adjust the the um, the flow it. so that it's going uh, center pipe and bottom valve. There we go. Okay, so what I've done... <laughs> Kenny's laughing at your face, <laughs> your look, I mean, <laughs> your expression. I, I want to take everybody over here to show them what, what he's talking about, so... I know, I get All nervous right. when Brian has that look, too. So, you, Kenny. if you can see here, hopefully you can, there is the center. This is the center outlet, and then down below that is the... just straight out the front, or the side over there. And so I've got it kind of in between the two where it's going up the center pipe as well as out the front, which would be this one here. So it's actually going out of there through the chiller and then back into the kettle here. So it kind of will actually create a little bit of a, a whirlpool, I believe is what they wanted me to do. Marriott is a stout. Bottom valve should be at 5 o'clock. To make it flow more? Okay. That's more like four, but. Okay, so it's actually, so what I've done there is I'm actually flowing more through the chiller and creating a whirlpool inside of the kettle than sending up through the center pipe. So, and I believe, and they can correct me if I'm wrong, are you going to pressure ferment? Okay, let's stop the pump. Okay. Now, why am I stopping the pump? <laughs> Moving the plugs for heating element of GZ access. Okay. All right, so I stopped the pump. No, it doesn't look stuck or anything like that, so I guess I'm kind of do this. Okay, all right, I'm listening. Are you going to pressure ferment? No, I'm not. I'm just going to be regular for Okay, so I got the I've got the valve at five o'clock, or it's about four o'clock actually. Let me see Do here. this. It's about five o'clock. Set the bottom valve at six o'clock. Pump at hundred percent. Okay. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Pump at hundred percent. Yep. The umbrella mash return doesn't cause HSA. Hot side air rich. I, you know, it's in the mash. I don't know. People people will argue about that. Make sure it wolf pulls nicely outside the malt pipe. Just make sure you don't burn the heating elements and get an even temperature. Okay, that makes sense. And it looks like it's uh, starting to move. So just to kind of give you a recap of what Brew Tools is telling me there, I've got the, the, the uh, lever straight down. So it's coming out of the kettle here through that hose underneath of the kettle out of here through the chiller and then back into the kettle and then so we're starting to so create a little bit of a whirlpool yeah you, you want it to nice, be nicely outside the malt pipe 
Yeah. So it won't burn the heating elements. Yep. You, you get an even temperature. See, I mean, it, it's the the mash is actually flowing really well, guys. Thank so, you. So, thank you for the advice there. And then, will I at some should I at some point start kind of recirculating back over the mash at all, or is that something you just kind of adjust as you go? I'm, I'm just curious to know. Hi, W Cowboy. <laughs> Shout out, love your channel. Yeah. That's awesome. Thanks, Debbie Cowboy. He works hard at it. Uh, yes, I do have the dip tube. I actually have the adjustable dip tube in the left input port, and I've got it pointed all the way down. But the level, the level of water or wart around the malt pipe is actually like right even with this, the grain bed or what's in the malt pipe. So I'm not seeing any issues with um, draining or you know stuck mash or anything like that. So. Yep, and then uh, the dip tube is also in the right port, the, the uh, return left port. Left port, port. He, he corrected it. Yeah, left yeah, port. so yeah, I've, I've, got, I've got a dip tube in both sides. I've got, I've got an adjustable one in this one, and I'm actually, I've got the, the, uh, the one coming out of the chiller pointed at the front of the unit, and then I've got the return, or the pickup tube for the pump pointing in the same direction so the the one is is pointing at the other one so it's, it's basically it, it's it's flowing around right to the other so it's awesome okay good deal <clears throat> now should I at some point go ahead and uh, recirculate back over top of the grain bed or what's your recommendation on that put the lid back on <clears throat> Thanks for the education, guys. It's uh, it's nice to have nice to have the people that actually brew or make the system. You can start circulating above the grain, turn the bottom valve towards the fire. Okay, to get a trickle, make sure it doesn't fill. Okay, yeah, very good. That was exactly what I did last time. So, all right. Okay, I'll show you guys really quick what uh, what he advised me to do. So I've got a trickle over top of here now. And then if you can kind of see in there, hopefully you can see, it's uh, whirlpooling around the outside of the basket. And it uh, looks like it's actually picking up some particles from the bottom by doing that whirlpool. So it, it's actually whirlpooling and, and uh, sending all of the grains that went through the bottom screen back to the top of the mash and getting filtered out. So looks like it's actually doing really well. So we are uh, 40 minutes left to the end of the mash, <coughs> put the lid back on, and we are holding right at 149, so looks awesome. Keep most of the flow around the mall pipe. Yeah, no, it looks, looks really good, so that, that's exactly what I'm doing there, and uh, it, it's working out really well, so looks really good. I never really thought about circulating through the chiller before. It's just not something that is normal. For me, at least, anyways. So, overpipe solution to be adjustable. <clears throat> yeah, I think actually, from from what I'm seeing, it's flowing a lot better than what I previously had. So I'll keep an eye on it. The level of wart did drop slightly in the kettle, as opposed to the basket. So I'll just check it every so often and make sure we're not overflowing or whatever. Um, normally, don't use the lid. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, that's a that's an awful crackling sound. Let me tell you what I've heard that before doing a rims tube. <coughs> so, <coughs> excuse me. So we'll we'll just leave the lid off and uh, just watch it as it goes. I know it's got the it's got the insulation on the outside of it, so it's looking good. Mm. <laughs> so good. Yeah, well, the, I've had audio problems in the past, so hopefully, oh yeah, <laughs> I got a, I've got my uh, Rode Video Mic Pro boomed up here above us, so hopefully that is working properly. And bright, bright lights. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Frameless. And bright lights. <laughs> mm. Moving the insert, moving the insert, but yeah, uh, to the from center to center, bottom to upper right. Sure, I can do that. How's that? <clears throat> what I do is to find the flow, so it's not right. Okay, cool. At least uh, don't use the lid until you have more experience with the system. Okay, ultimately you can, yeah. So 
Yeah, exactly. And then the the um, the rotate the dip tube that rotates the dip tube that rotates will actually is a nice accessory because it can help you keep from scorching elements. I mean, you'll suck air into the pump and probably hear that thing squealing before you burn anything. So, but uh, no, it looks good. I mean, it's it's circulating well. I'm not seeing it. It's it's got about probably an inch, maybe. Would you say, Kelly? An yeah. inch difference in levels. So, I mean, I think it's uh, flowing pretty good. It's got a nice whirlpool going around. So, I think we're working well. <clears throat> Seamless. Hey, Aaron. Is David Heath in the house? Hey, David Heath is in the house. <laughs> Hola. Awesome, buddy. Good to have you. Mm. All right. Yeah, no, I, I appreciate you guys being here. I, I, yeah. I'm absolutely... Scary. Ecstatic. <laughs> no, I'm happy because <laughs> <No>. <laughs> this thing can be intimidating. I mean, it, you know, I, I, like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm like, if you, you know, weren't here, I would. Every not time be I here. looked at it, I was just like, Rrr. you can tackle that thing. Kicked my ass. <laughs> so <clears throat> you're a trooper. But I mean, it's it's a it's a very versatile system, and I think that's where people can kind of get into trouble sometimes. Is with the the versatility of it you have so many different options and if you don't really think about how you want to use those options you can have some issues with valve positioning and all that kind of stuff so uh. <laughs> for all the tips and advice and yeah, yeah absolutely absolutely <clears throat> now i have to decide what i want awesome all right <laughs> raise your right David, hand he <laughs> yeah, we, we, we got we got the two big hitters. We got we got uh, we got Larry and we got David. <clears throat> Wayne's World. I, I had know. to do that. I don't know. Excellent. <laughs> <sighs> and it looks like our sparge water is at uh, 170 degrees. I've got Ooh. the sparge water going in a. You can't see me because I'm my head is the Brutals controller. But oh dear, they can see me. I've got the sparge water in a. Uh, 120 volt e kettle over here with the Inkbird uh, IPD16 controller to heat that up. <coughs> Let me flip this back on real quick. Very PV9 for. Oops. You got a great video, Brian. Yeah, yeah. thanks, thanks. Especially what my sparge water heater is here. <coughs> so I've got the e kettle here. There we go. And uh, Inkbird up over there. And then uh, just a single element inside. And then I've got it hooked up to the sparge water port. Speaking on of the port. virtual system. You know where your port is. Yeah, you're, you're having a porter. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Yeah, absolutely, Aaron. Th thanks for watching. I mean, it, you know, people like you are the reason that we do this stuff. <laughs> I know, I'm kind of standing behind the, I know, the words. I'm, I'm behind the, behind the brutals. Like a, yeah. a well, at least they can wall. see you. They're like this. <laughs> they can see you, at least. <laughs> there's just there's just uh, only so much uh, room on the screen. Somebody one time joked, I think it was AJ joked about, I think there was a skit, it was like Saturday Night Live, whatever, they had like all these different windows popping up, and the guy's yeah. like oh, yeah. trying to look through <laughs> everywhere. To I've get. seen that one. <laughs> kind of do the limbo. Yeah, Ben, if you didn't have the the chiller, you would just come out of the bottom port and then right back into either a valve or you could even come right back into the side port over here. I mean, it's you don't have to have... Uh... <laughs> what am I drinking now? I'm actually having a... Uh, Kroger brand Kroger's Diet Ginger Finest Ale. Diet Ginger Ale. I just need some hydration here. <laughs> yeah. It's hot. Dead center top option. Yeah, I can do that. And then regarding the HSA... We're working on a different solution to help you avoid oh. that. So you can replace the mash hat with a silicone tube and then don't. Yeah, yeah, you can you can do that. So oh, let me transition. Now it's right in the middle, honey. I know. Well, that's what they said. So <laughs> oh, is that what they want? Yeah. There, yeah. I, I can, yeah, see. actually, you know, you know, I could, I could do this. Let me just do this. Put it over here. That way, because you'll see the new stuff. And then um, I can actually just like minimize that. Kroger brand for the win. Right on. 
All right, there we go. <clears throat> How about that? Let's try that one. And then you can still see the chat, but. <laughs> I do have a hazy IPA on the side for you when you're waiting. Oh, do you? Okay. Yeah. I've got some uh, and Sierra Nevada. Yeah. <laughs> and pizza. We have to do pizza. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Gotta keep those thighs going. Let's see. Secondary camera. <clears throat> All right. How's that, Eric? Is that better with it up top over there? Then at least it's. Uh, well, cheers to another brew day. Then they just need a valve in the Amen. Port, so you can even include a valve. Cool. However, it's important to circulate Whirlpool <laughs> by the accessory kit to get two valves. More, yeah, okay. Yeah. 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 There's definitely some crazy setups out there with the three and four valves and uh, 45 degree angles and hard plumbed everything in. Thomas, I'm looking at you <laughs> over at Hop Rod Garage. <laughs> Sounds very precise. Yeah. Larry just, uh, just came back from yesterday. Um, I can't remember the brewery he can tell you, but Larry actually brewed uh, his Lair Garden on a one barrel commercial brewery system. Um, I don't know, did anybody come out and see Larry? I, I was uh, kind of wondering about that. I didn't get a chance to talk to you earlier. <laughs> yeah, Thomas, I'm looking at you, buddy. <laughs> Cleaning my gun right now. Cleaning oh. your gun? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't right. do it. All right, so we're halfway through the mash. Let's pull this lid. I cleaned my gun up. earlier this morning. Well, just uh, update on the the mash situation. Still got plenty alongside the kettle there. It's doing a nice whirlpool. We're circulating over the top. It's got a nice. Uh, it's actually clearing up really nice. So. Beautiful. I am it's extremely. Like a chocolate fountain. You just want to put a yeah. chocolate in there. <laughs> right, exactly. Or a strawberry. Exactly. <laughs> I am extremely happy with the the results so far. So. Huge thank you to the folks at Brew Tools for, thank you for holding our hand today. <laughs> oh, they said agree, but if you're new to the system, it's a recipe for disaster. What's that? Not sure. Uh, most people buy the system. Oh yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. You're you're right because I mean you can you can get lost in those uh, valves and everything. So that's that's one of those things that you know. I, I'm glad you guys only sent me the valves that you sent me because I would probably get lost in the valves. I was watching Bradley's uh, four valve, four valve, yeah, four valve, three or four, yeah, four valve setup, and he's got it. You can like, I don't know, you can have it wash the clothes and come back and mash. <laughs> I don't know. That's my kind of brew system. <laughs> Use the mash water to heat I mean, your dish water. I mean, all we need is an exercise bike connected to the mash paddle. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> oh, beers and yeah, right, exactly, yeah. That's how every good. That's how every uh, every good story starts. You can help your beer gut by doing. I was a drinking hula hoop. a beer and cleaning my gun. <laughs> you could do a hula hoop, which helps the beer gut, and somehow that helps the mash paddle turn. Exactly. I'm coming up with good inventions right now. I'm feeling Chesterton cool. Bird. Uh, yeah. So cool. Awesome. Valve was easy. Yeah. Man, yeah. I know. <laughs> I know, Tom. I, I know that is how it works, but I really I, I get challenged with that sometimes. Just to be 100 percent honest with you. <laughs> Why is it not going the way that I want it to? Back of handle is closed. <laughs> Only thing missing from this is an agitator. You're the agitator, Biracoy. Come on. Oh, thank you. Because <laughs> usually says that about me. <laughs> Someone else is now. Yes. <laughs> uh, let's see. Back of the handle is closed. Yep. Yep. That is better. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I'm assuming you're talking about the position of the control panel, uh, Gary. I'm assuming. All right. Very good. Okay. Yeah. It's hovering right between 149 and 150. Yeah, baby boy. <laughs> Got a brew cat down here. <laughs> brew cat. <laughs> what are you doing? <clears throat> He's like, I don't want to brew beer. Oh, we need to make a t-shirt. Hmm. I brew with my daddy. <laughs> exactly. What's the minimum gallon size you can brew with it? I, I believe you can get away with five or six gallon batches, uh, TJ, as far as I know. Um, I have not tried anything that small. Um, <laughs> you you use your uh, robo brew chiller to heat your, your dishwater. <laughs> mm. One thing that I thought was really cool and, and just kind of shows you how well uh, mm -hmm. thought out everything is that the guys at Brew Tools uh, does. Um, the, the inlet port 
I know Another. you're thinking the Wizard of Oz, right? Yeah, right. Exactly. Yeah, see. <laughs> Let me see here. Oh, the Tin Man. <laughs> it's it's wonderful though. I mean, just I know. Putting the jokes aside, it's amazing. So I'll show you real quick here. Do you want me to help? Uh, yeah, hold this. So there is a nozzle. I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's a nozzle that sprays down inside of the steam condenser. I guess I should probably explain how a steam condenser works for those of you that may not know. You Raise your hand if you don't know how a uh, steam condenser works. All right. <clears throat> if you'd like me to explain it, or try to anyways. I don't know if I'll do a great job, but uh, I can try to. Go ahead. <laughs> Let me have it. Okay, so <laughs> so what happens is, and I'll set it I'll set it over here on the kettle so I can show you. So what happens is, as the steam rises up, it goes into this tube right here, and what you do is you actually have a cold water source. I hope everybody can see. Yeah, I think everybody can see. You have a cold yep. water source that goes to a spray nozzle that has a cone. And basically what happens is the cone washes down this tube and in doing so it creates a suction. There's both a temperature variation and then also what's called a venturi. So when you have a, a, a pipe going into another one like this and you run air or water past it, it actually creates a venturi, much like old time uh, motorcycle carburetors worked. They had a jet in there and the air bl blowing over it would okay. suck gasoline out of the flow bowl. <clears throat> so the water cascading down or spraying down inside of this tube causes the steam to be sucked into this chamber and then because there's a temperature differential between the steam coming up out of here and the cold water going in, it causes this, the vapor or the steam to actually condense back into liquid and then out the bottom port and into the drain. Okay. So. That is why you're the first person. A nozzle extender? I don't want to talk to anymore. <laughs> hmm. I don't know if I had a nozzle extender with it or By not. By the way. Let me see. Let me look. Can you get out of the way? I still. seeing one but I will tell you that it works absolutely fine with that the only thing the only other thing that I got with it was that this like an and I believe that that is for the um, the inline oxygenation <coughs> motorcycle carbs <laughs> yeah absolutely let's see here uh, let me take a look and I got some stuff on the wall here Yeah, the only other thing that I got from, from you guys was this uh, air stone, but I don't have the fitting to hook it up. So, yes, I did ride the uh, beer koi, mainly off-road stuff, dirt bikes and stuff like that. <coughs> I rode a moped. Does that count? Is that the same kind of carburetor? She had a fat girl riding her. What? What man wouldn't want a nozzle extender? Extender's not critical. <laughs> You're right, exactly. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, well, I think just from the way that it looks to me, because I have there's like three different nozzles. Okay, well, the extender's not critical. It looks to me like the, with, the, with the cone being it's just about the way that it is. Hmm, that's interesting. I don't know. It just guarantees the spray back into the tank. That's yeah, all. it doesn't come back into the tank. Oh, sorry, yeah. I'm yeah. pretty sure... That uh, I don't know. I have to look and see. I think it's on such a level that uh, it probably is not running back into there. Okay. I don't know. I can take a look and see, but I don't think it is. Well, I have a level with me right now, but I think it's probably okay. <clears throat> okay.
Ten Damn four. Dude, yeah, thanks, man. Damn dude, Vespa, Vespa. <laughs> no, who, who knows? Uh, yeah, she does have some nice off rings there. Who knows uh, what she rode? It was probably like a. <laughs> it was probably one of the old uh, Cushman. It was uh, whatever was on sale in the paper, and I spent sixty bucks and got it because I. You bought your own. <laughs> The old center mounted and, five you know, horsepower. The brake didn't work. <laughs> oh, who needs brakes? <laughs> Just split Just down. it, right? <laughs> yes, Kelly Kelly has brewed a time or two. She usually helps me quite a bit, but uh, she has actually brewed well, on the, uh, the Robo Brew several times. Uh, I love an the extract Robo. batch and also a all grain mm -hmm. uh, porter, right? Yeah. Yeah. One of so. these days, he's going to get up at 2 o'clock in the morning, and I'm going to be down here brewing. <laughs> You'll be waking me up. Honey, come help me. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm scared. Uh, all right. Hey, David Bowden, I appreciate it, man. Yes, I do, Aaron. Uh, I used to have an original Z. Wow, that's crazy. How long does it take for cleanup? On this system, it's not bad at all, because, I mean, you can... Once you get everything uh, dumped out, rinsed out, it's, it does have a center drain that you can't you can't see it because the uh, center pipe is in on it right now. But it actually has a center drain pipe or a center drain port that the center pipe is connected to. So you can actually it has somewhat of a dished bottom, oh. and you can do just like a clean in place. You can crank the pump up to 100% with the elements on and put PBW in there and just let it sit there and wow. circulate and clean. So I mean, it's, it's really it's a breeze to clean. It, it's not tough at all. So. Time and that's the nice part about it. <clears throat> I probably will not be keeping the brew tools uh, B80. The guys have been gracious enough to let me keep it this far. We downsized. Yeah, I won't exactly. Let him. I'm sorry. I'm out of room. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you know, I'm, I'm happy to. I'm it's, happy to brew on it. You know, I'm, I'm glad that I finally got up the courage to brew on it again. And, and the guys at uh, Brew Tools have been gracious enough to. Let me do that and, and share a brew day with you guys. So it's uh, it's been pretty cool. If we open a microbrewery, we will. Yeah, right. It's amazing. Gary, man of a million Even talents. For personal use. I could see Gary racing motocross. <laughs> I could see that. Would you did you did you race with uh, uh, Jeff Jeff Ward and David Bailey and uh, Rick Johnson and all those guys or what? How much do you have to worry about water quality with cleaning like that? Um, you know, with I don't know what's a you can you can get some hard water stains, depending on you know what your water is. I, the water that we have is softened, so it's not as prone to it. But I mean, I still you do still get some water spots and stuff when you do it. So I mean, it, you know, it's one of those things. As, as long as you wipe it down really good after you get done cleaning it, I generally don't have any issues with. I'm uh, just worried about cat hair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Forget the water exactly. spots, but yes, that matters too. Oh, speaking of cat hairs. <sighs> Our There's man. one. Hi, buddy. This is a big monster. He wants to get up on the. We tractor. found this guy in the ditch by our house. <laughs> by the road, I made Brian stop the truck. He was a little yep. fun mm. ball of a couple weeks. Yeah. You got him. All right, buddy. You can't climb in the rafters today. <laughs> <laughs> Cat here, just ask her. Exactly. I, I, somebody on Reddit said that their uh, their um, cat jumped in the fermenter or something, and they just Hi, went ahead and let it go. How are you hey Leo, this? what's happening? Anything with a motor except the car, jet ski, motorcycle? <laughs> awesome. Not bad at all. Brian a lot of fun racing around. Cars. <laughs> Let me grab my my uh, hydrometer and see. Okay, Doc. If we got some conversion or not. Leo, it's great to have you. It's been a while, man. Main brewery guy Gary says, I completely understand the motorcycle reference. <laughs> okay. Yep. Am I in the way? Had a bunch of them growing up. That and go karts and all kinds of stuff. So, <coughs> Beer Cloix and hmm. County. Neither certain acids and alkalines were neutralized in part depending on water quality. I just thought you'd have some insight. Softer water is definitely better for cleaning. Um, you know, the zero or, you know, RO water is great for brewing and stuff. But, you know, I know a lot of uh, commercial breweries will use softened water to clean with. All right. Well, we're, we're getting there. We are at uh, 1.045. Cool. So. 
Looking pretty good. have been far too long. No hope, kidding. Hope you're all doing great. Yeah. How are the kids, the, the new ones? <laughs> <clears throat> uh, right now, Bruce, it is about uh, 29 degrees, something like that. So it's not, it's not too it's cold. It's great but, for mm. hot flashes. <laughs> she was standing on the porch a couple times last I night. I know. I had to go outside. <laughs> I'm surprised you're not doing it down here, but that window's open, so. Yeah, I was going to say, have the window open and the, and the fan on, on a little bit. Believe it or not, even with with the jacket on, when this thing is running 70, 80% with the steam condenser, it produces a lot of heat. Mm -hmm. I mean, it just radiates heat. It's, it's crazy. Mm. <clears throat> Sounds warm. <laughs> you know, Pepper, because I didn't realize or forgot that pepe, there was a pepper. Oh, Pepe. Okay, pepe. sorry. Pepe. I think it's Pepe. <laughs> pepe. Pepe. Because I forgot there's a handle back there. See, if I, if I were paying attention, I'd just do this, like he said. But, you know, where's the fun in that? I'd rather balance it over here so Aww. that when it slides and falls off and hits the floor, it sounds like a thousand cymbals going off in your guys' ears. <laughs> it's awesome. Um, Mark Oliver Damor says thanks for being here, Brian and Kelly. This is yeah, week. Our totally. day turned great. Yeah, awesome. Fifty degrees here. Snowy yeah, thanks, thanks, uh, Gam dude. <laughs> I know that's so fun to say. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are you doing? I'm doing Gam dude. <laughs> yeah, I know. He he follows he follows me on Twitter, and I always see him posting stuff. He's, That's awesome. Where are you getting your electric brewery together? Are you going to do anything, or uh, what? Uh, have you decided on anything yet? I know you were looking at different stuff. Brian so. did the brewery. I just yeah. brought food down. <laughs> he said, "Are you still alive?" Yeah, right. Thank exactly. You. It is beautiful. You did a great job down here. Uh, I will not be at the craft beer conference. Unfortunately, I will be at uh, National Homebrew Conference, but uh, I will not be at CBC. <laughs> are you guys going to be there? I'm assuming they'll be there. Cause they, they actually have, uh, so there's a... 46 degrees. There's a 40 liter That's system. Warm, Aaron. There's oh. a 40 liter one of these, which is like, this is a 70, no 80, I'm sorry, 80. There's a 40 oh, okay. that's half this size, okay. so it's a little smaller. Yeah. Then there's the 80, and they have, they have a 150 also, which is like twi on twice the size of this. That, that would be amazing. Crazy. Cray cray, love it. Yes, brewing will keep you warm for sure. Oh yeah, I'm feeling toasty. Yeah, it's uh, putting off a little bit of heat for sure. Nice. So then once we get to... Mm -hmm. Smells good. Yeah. We need to get a Yankee candle, you know, that smells like... What, a beer candle? Yeah, yeah exactly. like some mash. Put some mash in it. Yeah. Going to both, there's a CBC, potential distributors. Where's CBC at? Awesome. I don't know. Um, uh, CB, where's Craft, Craft Brewers Conference? Is that in uh, Colorado this year again, or is it somewhere else? Um, yeah, so that it, if you guys have a booth at NHC, that'd be awesome. We'll definitely come by and see you guys. Fantastic. <clears throat> <laughs> Hitting the hard junior rail. When did you use the respirator? When I was milling the grain. Oh, okay. San Antonio, Texas. Okay, cool. Oh, that sounds nice. Depending on the time of year, <laughs> it will be a far there. cry different from what you guys are used to in Norway. I guarantee you that much. You could visit some family. Uh, really close to NHGC. Awesome. Yeah, Aaron, if you can, if you can make it, it is <laughs> an absolute blast. It's I fun. mean, it's just, it's... We had beer that tasted like pizza. <clears throat> it yeah. was amazing. Yeah, that was a club night, right? Yeah. <laughs> I felt like I was eating pizza, but I was drinking it. It yeah. was like, wow. And it wasn't like... Ew, this tastes like pizza. It was yeah. actually like, I was yum, this tastes like pizza. I, know, like, this <laughs> I don't know how they did it. It was, it was crazy. It was but uh, Yeah. Um, and they have nice yep. eats. Mm. They have little snacky things all over the Someday, place. hopefully, yeah. I'll tell you what. Uh, John, that's right. I remember, yeah, you said you uh, you went over and, and uh, watched him build. Battery level low. Ooh. Oh. We're exchanging the battery. <laughs> Oh, he didn't. Okay. Did you lose it? I don't know. We're working on it. 
My wife loves that Kelly brews with you. Aw. She thought she was the only one. It went She's dark. waving at the screen like, oh, hi. <laughs> it went dark. Brian's working on the video, but I'm waving at your wife. Much, uh, much, much? Zero mm. nine nine zero. There we are. There That's we go. awesome. <laughs> I love it your wife brews. It's probably better than me for sure. I like to drink it. I told you to pay the electric bill. <laughs> no, I love brewing. It's a blast. It's it's so gratifying to make your own beer. Don't think I want to pay for all the extra extra Where are you? for me. Slice oh, okay, because you, you're gonna you're gonna fly out, uh, Larry. I got you. They should call that beer a slice of beer. That's a good one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah I, they haven't had anybody do that, so cold Leo's pizza, like, though? <laughs> Leo's like, liquid food? Isn't that how all the weightlifters do it? Yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of like a protein Yeah, shake. I mean, there's, there's, uh, Less well, calories, I don't know if there's whey in there. Whey protein, there's probably not whey. I mean, there's some protein in beer. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to make a whey protein beer. That'd be pretty cool. I think I could do it. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I'm about there. I think I'll let you have it all I'll by yourself. A healthy beer. <laughs> Everybody will love it. What you doing, bud? <laughs> you hanging out with mom and dad? He's just checking things out. He's a little monster. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, dry, yeah, I hear you driving. Well, you should be able to bring your uh, your AV I equipment, I think, pizza. with you. I would imagine. <clears throat> <clears throat> your daughter's the only one to brew with. Hey, it's uh, somebody brews with you at least. So, what driving do you know? is fun, hmm. though. I like driving. Yeah, yeah, we'll drive down. It'll, it's uh, it's close enough. We're gonna drive down. Mm -hmm. That'll be nice. Maybe we'll see. But I was talking about it with some of the the guys at Brew Tools. I may actually bring a keg of beer to we share have. on club night. Yeah, we have to. Yeah, we'll be able so to. So we'll, we'll I'll bring a bring a keg of beer to share on club night. So if you if you can come to NHC <laughs> this year. You can try some of my beer. <laughs> he just jumped up there in the rafters. Yeah, oh, he did. Yes. What a knucklehead. Oh, hard cast climbing. He's on the top ceiling. of the on top of the uh, ductwork in the oh, basement. Oh, what a feeling! <laughs> the cat is dancing on the ceiling. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Now the heater will kick on and it'll be like ah, Why freak out. Doing, He's about to come down. Looking oh, pretty my. good. He's laying down. <laughs> Crazy. Uh, awesome. Uh, drinking with Brian. Well, I, you know, with a name like Brian, I mean, you know, that's... Uh, <laughs> Call it drinking with Brian. Oh. Yeah, there's there's a whole bunch of stuff inside this brain. I, some of it you don't want, I don't think. <laughs> Everybody's at work with you. Everybody. Yeah, exactly. Kelly, because we ride together to work in the morning, and Kelly is uh, always like... Uh, You're the last will, you just, will you just stop already? <laughs> Yeah, so I wake up early in the morning, as you guys probably know, if you follow me on social media, I'm posting all hours of the morning, so by the time she wakes up, I'm already full tilt boogie going, so, <laughs> you know, it's like, tilt when you wake up. <laughs> I wake up going. Do you know what mm. pie means? Yeah, right, exactly. <clears throat> Always thinking of something. Portly always, gentleman, always. he's afraid of the dark. Yeah, I know, I, I don't know what happened there. Is that because it went out? Oh. <laughs> After having doors. Hey, wait a minute. I resemble that remark. <laughs> oh. Kenny, so the work for the, the, the only thing you got to do, Larry, is uh, call a guy about the electrical. That's it. Did mm. you enter, uh, answer Kenny's Kenny, where? Him question? So the work flows through the chiller coil. How do you think it drops temp quickly? Spring. Um, it, it, uh, it's certainly, I mean, it's, it's still warm. It's got, uh, it's got 6,000 watts of, of power to maintain the temperature. So, I mean, I don't, uh, you can kind of see if you look, if you look on the screen here, you'll see the amount of power that it's applying. If you see this little graph here, moving back and forth, that's when it's actually applying, uh, power to the elements. So, I mean, it, it maintains the temperature no problem, even trans, even going through the coil. So, I had no issue with that at all. <coughs> so, the system works Nice. <coughs> Let's 
Um, drink with Brian. I guess it's 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 a matter of you know what you what you want to do. Um, you know, it, it it's all relative. You know, you can make beer on those systems. You can make beer on this system. Just kind of depends on you know what you want to do. I I just definitely. I think about it's, the life of it, the simplicity. Yeah, I mean, this thing is this thing is heavy, heavy duty. I mean, it's it's way heavier duty than you know the Anvil, the the Grainfather, the the um, uh, Robo Brew. It's it's not really even. I don't even compare it to those systems quite honestly because it's it's kind of in a in a league all its own really. Right. Yeah, it's it's not even it's it's, it's not like even comparable to those. Maybe purchasing a house instead of uh, paying for an apartment. I don't. You know what I mean? It seems like it yeah. would just last for as long as all this works. Yeah, I mean, it's I, like the know. only system you'll need for the rest of your life. Yeah, and and the, the one of the things about this that you that I that I think about this is that you buy into an ecosystem with brew tools, and as if you were watching earlier, we were discussing updating features on the controller. So you know. The guys at Brew Tools, this thing is Wi-Fi connected. And once you understand it, yeah, it's. I think it's. Yeah, but it's, it's it Wi-Fi connected, seamless. so they can they can do any kind of update. I mean, they can add any functionality yeah, to this so thing. That, uh, wow. You know, I mean, if they if if they eventually developed an app that you could control it with, I mean, it, they like have the ability phone. to do that. I mean, it, it it has enough power to be able to do that. So, you know, it's one of those things. Hey, see see you, Kenny. <clears throat> So, I mean, you know, it's, it's, here. Cheers. <laughs> yeah, Drake, we're going to fill a couple of kegs anyway. So, you know, it's one of those things where, uh, you know, there's more to it than just a brewing system. It's kind of like a whole ecosystem. And they're constantly innovating and developing new stuff and, and up, updating, upgrading. You know, the only downside to that is <laughs> when they come out with something new, you know, it's one of those things you got to have. So... <laughs> Um, it does not integrate with Brewfather yet. That's one of the things that I understand they are working on. Um, I did use Brewfather to develop the recipe, but uh, that's you know, so nice. That's ben one of the Davis reasons. Said hmm? you should brew more often, like once a month. It's so much fun. <laughs> I've actually thought about trying to do that. So um, that's so nice. I, I felt I felt kind of bad. Maybe maybe they didn't lose any folks, but no, we went camping but, before and we had to come home early because of his beer stuff. <laughs> And it was Mother's Day weekend, so that's he loves you guys too. I do too. I was like, I pulled my fishing pole, I got my rod all reeled up, got it out of the water, put my kayak back. We went home. He did some beer stuff, and then we started brewing live. <laughs> oh man! <clears throat> See, you're 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 getting into an ecosystem, not just you know where you're where you're looking at buying something and then. You know, the next version comes out and the next version comes out. By the time you get three or four, um, three or four generations in on one of the, the all-in-one systems, you probably could have bought this if you go and upgrade, you know, constantly when they, when they come out with new features and stuff. So, you know, there, there's more to it than just, just a brewing system, in my opinion. Yeah, Lou. Not that the other ones Leo. don't make good beer, but... <clears throat> Oh, absolutely. Yeah, the Brewfather profile works great. No problem at all. Leo said you need to use a brown for my challenge to get a brewing beer. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I would, uh, I'd be, I'd be happy to do that. You know, I don't, I wouldn't have a problem with checking out the brown license system. I know that's what you have, Leo. I do like the. It's interesting how it has the <coughs> the. Uh, the Brownmeister actually circulates the mash up and down, so it, like it I pumps up know. and then drains I and have pumps not up looked and drains. That. Really. Yeah, it's, it's different than so the whole system out there. So it just kind of does its own thing. Yep. And blends it. Still have the anvil of Kelsey. Mm. Find the anvil. Yeah, so I mean, you know, it's, it's one of those things where you can, you know, you, you build, to, you, you, it's a progression. You know, I mean, I, you know, it's, I just like. I, I love anvil still. <laughs> I yeah. do. I, yeah, it's a, it's a progression. I mean, like I started out on the stove and, and it's it's perfectly fine for somebody to start out on the stove and, and start making beer. And, I love robo -brew. You know, and. and so and, many uh, great things like ferment in buckets. I mean, you, you, oh, you know, yeah. start somewhere. And yeah. then as you, you started in the garage. Yeah. As you love the hobby more and more and you, you start to perfect and, and hone your skills, then you can look at things that, you know, can possibly add value to what you do, you know, with, with a system like this and, and most of the electric systems, a lot of this is about repeatability. If you have, 
a system that you use like this and you document everything and you have a match and everything set at the same, you know, same temperatures and all that stuff, the chance for you to be able to reproduce that great beer that you brewed last time is probably pretty great, pretty great because you're not chasing match temperatures. You're not, you know, uh, having a different boil off rate than what you did the last time. So, I mean, you know, all that <laughs> stuff equates into a better end product, not because it's more expensive, but because you can refine your technique and your process. <clears throat> Yep. Yep. Yeah, I mean, it's you know that this is kind of the same thing for me. I, you know, it's it's you know, I started on the stove with a with a kettle and then yeah. went to a kegel and then went to an igloo mash tun with a rims tube and I scorched a couple of batches and I threw it as far as I could and then <laughs> went and got it and sold it. <laughs> you know, so it's like, and then I started looking at doing the harm system. So you know. Yeah. Hmm. Flip that pump camera there. I'm gonna go start the oven. <laughs> yeah, I understand, Francisco. I, you know, I, I take no responsibility for uh, for causing uh, undue stress on people's uh, wallets for watching my channel. <laughs> All right, so it looks like we're coming to the end of the mash step here, and uh, man, we are uh, looking really good here. Let me uh, show you what the mash looks like here. We haven't looked at that in a little bit. So it's looking really nice and clear. We're still circulating real well in the kettle. You got about an inch, maybe an inch and a half, something like that difference in the levels there, but it is looking really good. So we will let it continue working and uh, should be starting to heat up for our mash out step here in just a minute. <clears throat> it's looking good though. <coughs> Yeah, do some canned wart starters, right? <laughs> Take another gravity reading here real quick. Does anybody have any questions about anything else at all or? just in pod just use a bit um i guess stacy are you just looking to do for a boil or are you looking for a hot liquor tank or what exactly are you looking to do it uh what are you looking to do with the kettle with the boil coil in it <laughs> yeah exactly all right so we should, hey, three beeps. Awesome, thanks guys. <laughs> it only beeped three times. So now we should uh, start ramping up to 170 for a mash out step. <clears throat> we'll go ahead and put the lid back on. Um, real quick, the guys with the brew tools what is my position on the bottom valve or the side valve for the sparging? I would assume that it's just going through the, the center pipe, but I just want to make sure that that is correct and that I'm not, that I shouldn't be recirculating or anything like that any, any other place. Um, let me know. <clears throat> uh, yeah, so pro Stacy, probably what I would, what I would probably do if, uh, for sparging three o'clock. Okay. All right, cool. So just up the center tube. Okay, great. That's what I thought. I just want to make sure. Um, Stacy, I would probably looking at putting together a, just a basic control box. I think a company called Still Dragon has some uh, in kits that are pretty inexpensive. Um, okay. The right valve straight out from the tank. Now I think the 
maybe I have it hooked up wrong because the last the last time I moved. <coughs> well, I guess if I don't have okay, that makes sense. So if this if the if the bottom port is shut off, then I shouldn't have any flow through this part of the the valve. That's what I had earlier. I had the, the bottom open, I think, and that was the problem with that. So, oh, that's the left side. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 You're right. Yep. No, you're right. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> the other left side. No, you're right. Yeah, because so it's got it's got to be pointing straight out so that I'm just running from the the uh, sparge water vessel into the pump up through the center pipe. Okay. Um. Yeah, so, you know, even cheaper than that, Stacy, quite honestly, and I love Blickman products, but even cheaper than that is, um, like I said, the Steel Dragon, they make a solid state voltage regulator uh, with a, like a rheostat dial. And if you're just looking to heat up, uh, you know, liquid and, and just do it that way and you don't need a precise temperature range, that's probably your cheapest option. I think, if I'm not mistaken, like under a hundred bucks, but I, I don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure that that's, it's, it's really, really cheap, so. <clears throat> um, wait a minute, what am I missing? Gary, I thought the best condition for the side lever was, is 20 past the hour. Nice, thanks, Larry. So, yeah, pulse. Okay, they have a one a pulse width modulator. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know if I don't know if I have a video on anything like that from Blickman. Quite honestly, it looks like it's trying to heat it up gently. All right. <clears throat> Let's see. Twenty past the hour. It actually, it should be just straight three o'clock because, and the reason I say that is because uh, if you look, it's going to come into here through the pump and then straight up the uh, sparge or the center pipe. See, so yeah, you want it definitely at three o'clock. <clears throat> straight up, we'll go through. <laughs> Just don't uh, don't fill the back seat with water by rolling down the window. Hashtag fill the kegerator. <laughs> okay. Mash power. Okay. All right, there we go. Do I have to turn? Okay, there it is. Okay. It helps if you hit the check mark to lock in the adjustment. Do you see that, how it adjusted there? Yep. I think you, yeah, I might, I might have done one. I'm not sure. Thanks, Brew Tools. I was cold. I had too much around. Oh. <laughs> Smashed my earrings. You cold? Yeah. Wow. That's weird. It is weird. I'm usually <clears throat> so what I did, if, if you guys didn't pick up on that, what I was doing there, at the bottom of the controller down there was I went into the settings menu and I adjusted the maximum amount of power that the system uses to adjust the mash temperature or ma you know, mash, yeah, I guess the mash temperature. I adjusted it from 50% up to 80% and basically what that did is it allows the system to use more power to ramp the temperature up to that mash out step that, that we want to do. So I have to show my beer fashion. So I have a shirt under this. But anyway. The Homebrew Network. Look. Yeah. Like, explosion of hops, and then I have the earrings. <laughs> Let me go with this. Plugging it. <laughs> hey, Don Don. <clears throat> Looking good. <laughs> Hop grenade. Woohoo! Looking good. <laughs> that brew system must be because of the. <laughs> right, exactly. It's. It's a beaut because it's from Norway. She's a beaut, Clark. Mm. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and purge the air out of the line on the... Uh, 
again. Hello. Yeah. Hello, Hello darling. You have a bucket right there. No, I just want to give it to her. So. If I'm not sucking <laughs> air into the system whenever I... There. Oh, shit. Oh, you okay? Oh, stainless is hot. Yeah. <laughs> Percentage of power is a percentage is the percentage of power a setting that you can define in the mash step, uh, maybe even define a, ma a ramp up rate. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Uh, the the shirt is from the Homebrew Network. Um, <laughs> um, the percentage of power. Yeah, let's see. Okay, yeah, not right now. Okay, all right. I want some beer. Get some, Don Don. <laughs> Uh, normal to mash with the lid on. He said earlier, Gary, that uh, you can you can do it with the lid on or off. If you're if you're experienced and you feel like you've got your process down and you know what how the mash and everything's going to react and not overflow or scorch the elements or whatever, um, you can certainly uh, you can certainly do it with the the lid on. Um, if you are new to the system and not 100% sure how it works, you should probably leave the lid off so you can monitor the level of the wart in the malt pipe and, and the level outside of the malt pipe just to make sure you don't scorch the elements. At least that's what they said. So, <clears throat> But just keep the hat on. Let's see. Um... Keep the hat on. I'm not sure what you mean by that, Thomas. Unless you're talking about with the boil. Yeah, yeah. If you if you're boiling, you definitely want to keep the hat on. Why should they have to go out to the barn to be? Yeah, I'm really lucky with uh, with Kelly because she likes the smell of uh, the mash. So I'm really really lucky that she likes that because I know some guys have, I've heard from some guys saying that their wife does not like the mash at all or the smell of it at all. <laughs> so you know. Um, any kind of recommendations on power level for the pump to do the, the sparging? Is it just like a, a nice gentle flow over? Um, are we looking for a spray to go over the grain bed? I guess it kind of depends on how quickly it drains, but just wondering if you guys, the brew tools, have any, uh, any recommendations. That is good, Christian. Hey, Christian, how's it going, buddy? Good to see you. Yeah, exactly. And that's what he said, Gary, was, was to, to leave, you know, if, if you're not sure, leave the lid off so you can monitor everything and make sure that you don't have any issues with, uh, with any of that. So, looking pretty good. It's still clear enough. Sparging is the most difficult part. the most difficult part. Depends on the flow through the granite core. Okay, slower is better. Okay, well, we're going to see what happens. Um, this is the first time that I've actually sparged with the system. So, that'll be interesting. <coughs> I do feel I do feel a lot more confident with the new center pipe. I just had a really I had a feeling that with the old center pipe that it might not uh, might not stay in the bottom as, as well, um, and that it might kind of raise up or something like Why? that and actually cause some of the. It just it didn't fit really tight. They completely redesigned it and used like new real thick o-rings and stuff so i mean you gotta like you put okay. you gotta put some like uh silicone lube on it and actually like push it down slide it down on there so it's it's, it's a i think it's a <laughs> drastic improvement over what it was so great for sure <clears throat> look like your best system yet <laughs> yeah um it's a little bit more complex than uh than some of the stuff for sure thanks for the brew tools Yep, no, I can do that for sure. I've got this, uh, i got this pulley here. Sorry to hear, David Seller. He's been, What's that? He's out of work for a month, recovering from surgery. Oh. But my little mash and boil setup is getting used and abused this month. Hey, there you go. <laughs> so for Dave, make sure you like drink I, water. Like I said, make that, that hydration is... do to recover from <laughs> surgery, believe me. Outside of an electric stove or something mm -hmm. like that, the mash and boil is probably the cheapest way to get into electric brewing oh yeah um you know it's it's uh and it's, no no pump no it teaches you too exactly. i mean you understand exactly. it and yep. you you really respect it yep i think 
Yes, absolutely, uh, Mushabi guy. I am very appreciative of them being here as well, and, and uh, absolutely, I'm, I'm ecstatic that they're on the live stream today. As I said before, awesome. in the beginning of the live stream, That's once everything gets uploaded and encoded and all that stuff from YouTube, I'm going to go back and put time code stamps in the description so you can jump from place to place, like mash in and Whatever you, you know, adjustments. Believe me, I've the... watched his videos and done the same thing myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I will definitely add timestamps in there so you can come back and rewatch it and not have to scrub through the whole video. I'll try to. Well, that's interesting. Now, the, the pump actually <coughs> dropped back on its own for some reason. It shows it's on, but it's not coming through the center pipe for some reason. I wonder what that's about. We really appreciate those who are here and watching this live stream, and I can't just look at the pump that I have on. Aw, that's oh, awesome. Whoa. I don't know. Something. Does it do its own thing at a certain time? No, it was it was weird because it was for some reason it. Uh, Maybe it got clogged. Yeah, it might have been clogged by a little bit of grain or something because it, it had stopped flowing. But uh, I just turned it. I adjusted the the valve a little bit we'll get to hmm. blow out whatever was blocking the. Okay. Well, the it's, center it's, pipe it's, and it's back recirculating. It's so. I don't know. Machine, you know what I mean? It's understanding something. Yeah, I'm definitely interested to see the uh, those fermenters you guys are going to come up with. If they're if they're anywhere over engineered like these, they'll be awesome. <laughs> Beer man, 1957. Where's the jump to where I can get to drink it? Wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> like you hit a certain spot and we go, here's the beer. Yeah, right. <laughs> We're drink working on that technology. It's drink o vision. We're mm -hmm. trying to come up mm -hmm. with that. We need smell o vision, exactly. drink o vision, eat o vision. What uh, what's that? Um, Uh, service it. delivery service for Uber, for, uh, or not, not Uber, Uber Eats, Eats. So. Uber Eats. <coughs> Diner Dash. Yeah, Diner Dash, Uber Eats, <laughs> Beer um, Dash. Oh yeah, Beer Dash. <laughs> Usually sparred with a pretty decent flow, but I can, but I turn the pump off and depending on the flow rate through the grain bed. Okay, gotcha. Let's see what Leo is uh, coming through the Uber Lucy. Yeah, <coughs> hmm. cool. Did proof of concept testing on the prototype fermenter last week, and I did so. Nice. That's good to hear. Good to hear. Bear I don't Coy. expect anything less from you guys. <laughs> I have to read Bear Coy County. Sorry, I nice. Have camera and audio. I'm going to get Larry to come to group. <laughs> awesome. Larry's going to want to put you mm. on the camera. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I think if you, uh, Francisco, if you go to their website, there's probably like a, a notification, but maybe not. Um, a notification list where they'll send you emails and stuff like that. I know I, I think I'm signed up for it. I get emails from them from time to time. Cooling is super efficient, Bridgeville said. That's good. <clears throat> All right, so we are almost. It is tight. The system is tight. Yeah. I got to say. Minute and a half left in the mash. We're coming up to mash out temperature. Yeah, they, they definitely do post stuff there all the time. <coughs> and also, there is a uh, uh, Brute Tools mm. owners group on Facebook. You don't have to be an owner to join that. So they do. They post stuff there, and uh, Bruno Bruno Pixel Dross posts stuff there all the time too. <laughs> oh. He's always reposting their stuff. So yeah, if you want to join that too, that uh, that's a good way to to keep up with stuff. Oh, that would be cool. <laughs> ben getting us that roof of <coughs> customer service. Not yeah. sure how you do a tilt integration in there. I mean, I guess unless there was some Give kind of shout out to sensor Brutals. inside or something that was attached to something. But I think it's awesome Brutals is on here. Yeah, absolutely. No, it's, it's great. Help desk. Absolutely awesome. <clears throat> I love that sound. It's like a quiet storm. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like you can go know. to sleep. Let's see. I can mean, you, can I, you hear it? I want that sound it? like on my alarm clock for the mood, <laughs> lighting, okay. and sounds. Let's, let's see if they can hear it. It's like the ocean. <laughs> what part of quiet don't you understand? <laughs> can you hear it? 
second pump It's situation. like an ocean of beer. Oh, dang it. Um, <laughs> I, I love, I love IPAs. I love New England IPAs. I've been doing some, been doing a lot of New England IPAs recently, but I mean, I, I like a lot of different kind of beers, but if, if I have a choice to brew what I want to brew, I'm going to brew probably like a New England or a, or a uh, IPA, one of the two. So that's my, that's my go-to. Not me. Okay. <clears throat> so we are good there. I'm going to go ahead and glue ah, this back. Very good, Brutal. Don't compromise. And let's see, mashing is complete. Heating elements and pump will be turned off when the confirmation is confirmed. It's been tossed to you. Prepare to. No, I'm talking. I know, but it's like saying <laughs> British to mash you. time. <laughs> if you can read, pop it's up. talking to you. <laughs> so let's see, sparge with 20 liters. Okay. All right, I'll be right back. Pop Ryan, right. do you have a favorite style of beer to brew? You already I, answered that, I right? I just told him, yeah. Yeah. So like, second pump. Hmm. Okay. Brian will have to continue with that comment, brutal. Breaking gravity. It is really cool. It sounds like a beer ocean. It just sounds like swoosh. You went like mood biting. It's really cool. Yeah, Aaron, I agree. Brian loves IPAs. Drinking with Brian. I'm a stout porter kind of girl. Hey, Larry, I got an idea. I got an idea, Larry. When you come over to uh, brew in the in the, the short circuit of brewers HQ here, I'll send the brew tool system back with you. Save them some shipping, and you can just drive back. With oh, <laughs> share the love. Exactly. What are we doing with that? Um. You're stringing, not, stringing you up. I know, you're not hanging me from the ceiling. <laughs> It'll work. Do you right. want my help? I don't know. You're going to lift this out of there. Yeah. Mash them. Yep, exactly. I oh. wanna, I'm going to attempt it anyways. Um, very ingenious. All right. Okay, he did mention... Um, if my calculations are correct. Brutal. Oh, okay. He was talking to Phil Kleinauer. Okay, that is a little bit. <laughs> Larry said, great idea. Now we have to get this collab done. <laughs> For sure. All right, here we go. Okay. I'm going to go really nice and slow. Now, when this thing gets to the top, we actually... I know. Up. What am I doing? Um... I mean, I have my own thoughts, but yeah. I'm a little nervous. Oh, no, you're fine. I'm just letting it um, ring a little bit. Should I have, I should have like. Should I have what? Um, you know, mist on. Am I guiding that over here? Um, no, we're going to, we're going to sparge. Okay, I know, but. Is that going to hold it? Yeah. I'm okay, right. I'm moving. This thing is like this yeah, far into the yeah, okay. beam up there. I figured because you did it. The thing I don't want to do is drop it back down because the center pipe, will, for the uh, oh, the center it pipe will line up. probably move up, and you don't want to do that. Uh, drum roll, please. Right. <laughs> Just gotta get it high enough to get the, the catches on there. Well, that was uneventful. I certainly wouldn't have done that without this thing. Yeah. <laughs> that is the, you want a pulley for system. Because sure. exactly. if that man needs a pulley. Yeah. <laughs> it is a must to have one of those for sure. All right. Did you get all that, everybody? Turn the heaters off. They're off. Great. <laughs> <laughs> They're off. All right. So let's see, I'm gonna open this. Don Don said, be careful. Right on, Don Don. All right. Let it begin. 
Let it begin. I'm just gonna check the oven. Okay, very good. Let me uh, <coughs> let's let's get the sparge cam up here. All right. Was that? Let's see. Uh, uh, okay. So now, turn the pump on. Oh, I adjusted the valve over here so that it's pointing away from the kettle, so that it just it shuts off the kettle and just supplies the the uh, sparge water to the pump. So we'll go ahead and get sparging now. Whoa. like it's draining pretty well. I was hoping maybe I could get a little bit more of a, a fan over top of the drain bed there, but oh. Yeah, turn the valve, exactly. <laughs> Stop! Turn the valve! <laughs> exactly. I forgot to turn the valve. Oh, there we go. Look at that. When you turn the valve, it actually works properly. Well, I've diluted the wort. Let's see if I can rinse some out. Yeah, hopefully it'll work out right. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, I know. I, I, I screwed it up. See, I told you. Told you guys. Told you. It'll be all right. <laughs> no, I, I have, see what, what actually happened is um, my efficiency will be so high that uh, I will have had to have done it that way so that the gravity is what it should be. Because had I not done that, then it would have been, I would have went way over my gravity and, uh, you know, it would have, would have, had, would have been out of style. So, you know. <laughs> No, I forgot to turn the. I was sitting. Remember, I told him, turn the valve at three o'clock. Turn the valve at three o'clock. Yeah. I didn't turn the valve at three o'clock, oh, so I started I'm pumping sorry. water into. And you're having diet mm. ginger ale. Yeah. Dude. No. It's okay. Is it okay? It's a library. They, David said they need a panic button on their end so they can stop, shut everything down. Brian. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, I know. It's yeah. It happens. But, you know, I can make plenty of goofs without it being live. So, I mean, it's just accentuated when you do, when you do live stuff. So. To goof is to be but human. I did, get a, I did get a little bit of a rinse on it. So, I think, I, I think we'll be all right. Okay. I think it, we'll be okay. It smells like it's recovering. Yeah. It's good, honey. Yeah. It's all yeah. good. All right. Okay, so it says sparging and heat to boil. So, I'm not sure how long <laughs> it... Uh, Larry, it's mm. very distracting to brew and live stream. Yeah, exactly. You know. I, yeah, I don't have to tell you. <laughs>
man has got. No, nah, I would have. I would have. I would have blown right past that, Brutal. So I, <laughs> I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have even thought about it at all. I would have been like, "Yep, I'm doing the right thing." There's some stuff we right have to be thing. responsible for. Exactly. Yeah. You can only do exactly. some. I mean, exactly. you can move our arms and make us walk over there. <laughs> Marionette. <laughs> Turn the valve. Turn the valve. The bow. Brutals puppeteer. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That's right. You know, and that's that's one of the things I love about brewing live with you guys is you get to see my screw ups, my mistakes, the triumphs, all that stuff. You're that's, still the it's, smartest man I've ever met. Yeah. <sighs> Call me crazy, it needs a sight glass. <laughs> oh, it doesn't have a sight glass? No, it doesn't have a sight glass oh. on it. That's the only thing I miss, but oh, yeah. I'm old school like that, I guess. I so. love sight glasses. Uh. Yeah, if you don't make a mistake, <laughs> you aren't having fun. Yeah, oh yeah. I was gonna we say, have lots of fun. I was going to say, imagine, uh, <laughs> won't do anything now when sparging is done. You just see, oh okay, God, so the button shows it. delicious. This. Okay, okay, cool. So I can turn the elements back on and just turn them up to 100%. Oh my God, it's so just want to make sure <clears throat> the white Ke Kelly's ocean is, is uh, going again. <laughs> oh gosh, my favorite. Yeah, I was going to say, Larry, imagine if you and Chad came over to do a, a live brew day with Kelly and I, it would be... Yeah, it would be a major calamity then, right? Yeah. <laughs> that would probably be like in the penal code, code kind of version. Penal, penal code. <laughs> We're going we, to jail? We are. Woo! <laughs> We're going to jail. <laughs> what the hell? Just kidding. Hmm. You need to manually confirm it's boiling. Okay. It ain't boiling yet. No, no. Oops, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're absolutely right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that needs to go. DJ Brooks. I don't think I've had way. a brew day yet where I didn't have an oh shit moment. Yep, exactly. Oh, yeah. Good looking out, Brew Tools. I would have dumped some wort on the floor for sure. Oh. I would have done it. I would have done it. I would have no, done it. That wasn't <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just distilling, not brewing. No, that's what that's. Spiroquois said no jail in brewing. I'm just talking about the behavior. No, I'm just <laughs> where the hell I go, our neighbors are going right. to call the cops. They're six acres away here. from us, but they can still hear us. Let's see if I can get this over here. Okay. We need a two-way communication voice next to yeah. Oh, that would be cool. Tom Helms. Um, there. Nivik. We need a two-way communication voice. Yeah, right. I need to have some kind of a, a, uh, a thing where you guys can type in a message and it goes... Hey, stop, you idiot. <laughs> How about just a hand that comes out and goes, bam. <laughs> yeah, no, that's that's a lot of fun, for sure. Hey, Old Norse. Oh, I haven't seen them for a while. Yeah, I haven't seen them for a long time. Uh, yeah, two-way communication. So is it is it uh, recommended to take the center pipe out um, now or... Should you wait? What's the recommendation, Brew Tools? Open office. There's a little bit of particulate in the top of there, but not much. A what? Particulate, like a little bit of yeah, you know, particles. grain. Yeah, no, nothing major there. I just didn't hear you. An AI controller. We need yeah. a robot down here. Yeah, right. Brian, you need to do this yeah. right now. Stop exactly. it. Exactly. <laughs> I 
Thank you, Matthew. Love the setup. Fine. Yep. Oh, I love that part. Yeah, I'm a little, I'm a little under on the gravity. <coughs> That'll be, might, uh, be fine. Might wind up, uh, <coughs> might wind up boiling for an extra half hour, okay. just to reduce the volume down a little bit. Otherwise, we'll wind up with uh, 13 gallons of Matthew Aguirre's favorite show ever. <laughs> awesome, thanks, Mark. Mark. That's fantastic. And Matthew said, "Love the setup." Yeah, if everything went smooth, we wouldn't we wouldn't have a reason to drink, right? <laughs> <laughs> Agreed. Okay. Let's, uh, My reason is just waking up. Oh, did Brutus respond about uh, taking the center pipe out? No. I guess you don't really need to. What do you do, Bradley? Or somebody that uses one of these? Take it out when you're going to clean. My suggestion. Clean clogged in. Okay, I got you. No need to take it out. Okay. Okay, cool. Very good. Now, at the recommendation of someone, uh, when I posted some pictures on social media, I'm going to put the port, the access port, off to the, the left hand side of the controller so that if we should have a boil over or whatever, it doesn't run down onto the controller. Oh, that's a good point. <laughs> yeah. I was wondering where exactly. you're going with that. That's a good point. You want exactly. to say that again? That's the only thing. If you could have like a little dome thing, like a plastic yeah. case. <clears throat> it's it's uh, IP, it I think it's IP76, which is like somewhat waterproof. Oh, okay. That's the designation for it anyway. Now, uh, should I should I put the steam hat on now, or should I wait until we come to a boil, so I can see what's going on, just out of curiosity. <clears throat> oh my gosh, it smells amazing. It does, doesn't it? Look, I have a head actually. It's so funny because my head's cut off in most of these pictures. <laughs> Good. Hey Ron, how's it going? Yeah, awesome. I, I appreciate that, Mark. I definitely enjoy doing it. I, I get some messages from people sometimes saying that, uh, <coughs> excuse me, that they had uh, had us on in their brew house while they were brewing. So that's that's awesome. If you can brew and watch a brewing show. <laughs> I'll take a beer now. Okay. It's prime time to screw something else up, so oh, if I get a beer, I can blame it on that at least. <laughs> okay. All right. Cool. Yeah, I think it'll be okay. I'll just uh, I'll leave it because I've got full all six thousand watts running, so um, I'll just leave it until we come to a boil, so we can see the the hot break and everything. I'll let everybody see that, and then uh, we'll put the steam hat on. <coughs> and uh, fire that up. Oh, what I was going to say earlier when I was starting to talk about the steam hat, which I thought was pretty cool that the, the Brew Tools folks did, um, I got sidetracked, but the port on this, the nozzle at the top, is basically the same size as the, the nozzle, or the port on the chiller. So basically you're using the same tubing for the steam condenser as you do for the chiller. So it's nice to be able to just swap the two of them out because obviously when you're done with the, the brewing, uh, a stout, Old Norse, um, <coughs> when you're done with the brewing, you don't need the steam condenser anymore and you just need the chiller. So it's, it's nice that they you just swap the two out. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, it does look like <laughs> you could, uh, you could put a, you could put a, uh, a condenser condenser on there. I don't think that would be a problem at all to do that. Um, if it were legal. <laughs> oh, how nice. <clears throat> My first beer of the day, gentlemen. Cheers. Which one is this? Uh, um, Red Hazy IP. But uh, what is it? It's not Hazy Little Thing, is it? No. Okay. Sierra yeah, Sierra Nevada a Hazy Little Thing. There it is. Do I hear a beeping? Oh, okay. Mmm. Magnificent. Nectar of the gods. Mm -hmm. 
Thanks for hanging out with us, David. Appreciate it. No, it's it's a commercial. I don't uh, I don't have anything. I, I need to brew. I did a Christmas party and uh, wound up expending all of my all of my uh, beer that I had. So it's time to brew again. I'm actually doing a experiment with the guys uh, from the brew brew tubers homebrew club. We're doing a um, IPA experiment, like a West Coast IPA. There's 13 of us, and we're brewing uh, 13 of the same beer, 13 batches of the same beer, and all of us are using a different yeast. We're then going to ship all the beers to a hub, and then they'll repackage all the beers and then send 13 beers back out to everybody else so that we can all try and see what beer, what uh, what yeast we prefer. So there's, there's I'm, I'm doing a Voska Vike. There's just a full, there's a whole gambit of beers um, that are going to be done. A whole um, gambit of yeast, I mean, I'm sorry. <clears throat> Turn the bottom bow to 6 o'clock. Okay. And then we'll be ready for chilling, right? <laughs> Very good. <clears throat> okay, so I turned the bottom bow to 6 o'clock so that it comes out of the kettle, through the bottom, through the pump, through the bottom, underneath of the kettle, and into the chiller, and then it'll go back in. So whenever we get to the end of the boil, we'll run everything, we'll run the beer through the chiller and sanitize first, and then we'll start chilling it down until we get to a point where we can just run out of the, the uh, chiller. <clears throat> so yeah, we'll, um, we'll have all of us that are doing the, the uh, experiment we'll have reviews of all the beers with the yeast and all that kind of stuff so hopefully hopefully we can determine like what our favorites are and then try to relay i know it's hard sometimes to because my palate's not the same as your palate and everybody's palate is different but at least we can maybe say you know hey this beer or this yeast provides a crazy aroma and you know this beer subdues aroma or enhances bitterness or whatever the case may be and try to give people a little bit of an idea of you know okay I want to brew this kind of beer and I want to have this characteristic and so I'm going to use this yeast so that's kind of what we that's kind of our goal to the whole thing is to educate ourselves and then you know share what we find with all of you so be looking out for that um, brewtubers.com is the website and you can see all the information about the, the um, experiment and everything there. So big up to uh, main brew guy Gary and the boys over at Exit 12 for kind of organizing the whole thing. So they wrote me into it and uh, I wrote some other people into it. So should be a good time though. It'll be fun, I think. <clears throat> should be fun. Since I messed up on the sparge, I'm going to go ahead and uh, tack on like an extra half hour to the boil just to kind of boil it down a little bit. <clears throat> yes, we are, Leo. We're going to do we're going to do vids on the uh, on the tasting uh, on the videos. Yep, for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Now it's uh, it's it, I'm looking forward to do some more experiments with that. I think uh, I'd like to I would like to do maybe some. Uh, adjunct experiments or something like that because there's a couple of grains that I like to use every once in a while one of them one of them actually kind of latched on to from doing a zombie dust clone was um, melanoidin malt has anybody ever used melanoidin malt Peace. <laughs> 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 Compliment the Kroger. Heck yeah. 
Oh, no. I don't care. You gotta have parmesan on there. All right. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Yeah, I thought it added a really interesting maltiness to it. And uh, the color was really cool, too. It was like a kind of an orange color. We are at one ninety nine. Can I edit the recipe on the fly, Brew Tools? It's National Pizza Day. You gotta be kidding me! Forget Is it. it. Really? No way. Pinata Day is in April. I'm looking forward to that. Pinata Day? According to television. Mm. Is this this one way too much? Mm -hmm. This is a Kelly's Pizza. Okay. Let your imagination take control. It is. It is perfectly good enough to me. Yeah, Matt, I agree. I, I like melanoid malt a lot. Wow. So, along that line, I was wondering if maybe you do an experiment where you have the same certain amount of certain grains and hops and everything, but just change, you know, melanoid in one, uh, caramel 40 in another, caramel 60, whatever, you know, just do some other adjuncts like that. Even, you know, Marisata or Carafa or whatever. Just to see what the differences are with these, with some different specialty grains. You probably want this back in the oven a little bit, seeing it's more crispy. Um, if you're talking to uh, me, Mark, I'm going to be using some um, Anvil brew buckets. I'm going to use two of these, two of these brew buckets for the batch. I got a couple other fermenters, right? But uh, that's what I'm going to use for this one right now. I'm, I'm going to do some a uh, little bit of temperature control on the batch. So, oh, it's not bad. I have a chiller that I need to check out. <laughs> um, that is the uh, that's the anvil uh, brew bucket. I don't know. If, I don't know if you guys responded or not. Oh, anvil. I don't know if you guys um, responded or not, but can I adjust the recipe on the fly as far as like the boil time and everything? Starting to see some rumbling. Hmm. Yeah, the spike flex is definitely a, a, a nice fermenter for sure. For sure. It's starting to burrow. <laughs> I 
it's showing at 209 in the uh, kettle, but we're getting some activity. Smells delicious. You guys could. I wish you guys could smell this. Amazing. Smells crazy good. For sure. Absolutely. Mark Oliver said, "Thank you, Brian." Yep. Gonna sell that. If we choose this All right. Mine, I think we're boiling. Now, uh, virtuals one more time. Uh, I'm confirming that it's boiling. And. My question is, I must not have set the recipe up properly because yeah. there's nothing there. Are you there. done? Or, no, mm. you still have an hour. Can I adjust the recipe? Can he adjust the recipe, Brutals? On the fly. On the fly. I'd like to add some more time to, oh, it's a 10 gallon batch. I'd like to add some more time to the boil. It's actually 11 gallons. Oh, hello. Look at that. Turn your back. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, you cannot adjust the recipe now. But you can pause the timer. Oh, okay. How do I do that? How do you pause the timer? Do you just touch it? What if you touch the numbers? Okay. Touch and hold it. Touch the numbers. Just hold it. Pauses the timer. Touch the timer for a few seconds. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I remember seeing that somewhere, uh, reading that in one of the comments on the Facebook group. But uh, Ron's beer reviews and tools are great having two views. Ryan's all about that. Thank you. Pop that off. I'm going to get out of the way. Putting the steam hat on now. It is probably recommended to remove the, the plug before you start putting it on and, and actually get the water all connected and everything. Because I've heard tell that Thanks, uh, <coughs> it'll pop off of there. Okay. Mm, where am I? Uh, Leo, the touch screen is like spot on. He says, how well does it respond it looked like it responded amazingly yeah yeah it, it uh, just hold a few seconds it worked really well enough for it to register digitally well, this is connected to my faucet oh. okay. Okay. thank you thank you mm -hmm. anybody for a stout facial <laughs> yeah i think that would be beautiful <laughs> Opens your pores and lets the barley run in. I think Leo's leaning towards this system. Maybe. It's pretty yeah. cool, let me tell you what. If you want to invest and keep it forever, I think it'd be a great thing. All right, and then we hook a hose to the bottom of the condenser. And then just lay it down in the drain here. Oh. In the floor. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Stuart Thistlewaite said, can't wait for brew tools to release their upcoming fermenters. Oh, yeah. Have you heard about those? Yeah. He was, they were just talking about them a minute ago. Woo! Kelly to the rescue. Because I brought down pizza? <laughs> it's awesome to have pizza. No, I don't know what he means. What did I do? One thing you want to make sure of when you hook up your water supply to the the uh, nozzle. <laughs> Maybe a tube out of the condenser is a good idea. Question mark. Brew tools. Huh? A, yeah. A tube out of the condenser itself. Is that a good idea? 
Oh, yeah, I already, I, I put it on there. <laughs> They're probably just a little bit Oh, behind. he's trying to help you. Okay, yeah. gotcha. Yeah, no, I, 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 I had it already. That's what you did. <laughs> I had it. Hmm. Name's Kelly. Master the obvious. <laughs> the Burmaster is a bit fiddly sometimes. All right. Leo said his brewmeister is about fiddly something. Mm. I can understand everything. You know what I mean? So, 215. I've got it on 80%. Um, please turn down power. Oh, hee hee. Okay. I had it on 80%. I turned it down to like 67 just now. Oh, yeah. You definitely want to turn down the power. Can you show them what that looks like? That's pretty well, cool. Maybe I have to. Oh. I'll have to uh, I'll get, get a flashlight. Uh, I'll get it. Okay. Get a flashlight. All right. We'll show them inside. Oh, 45. Um, Pepe, I'm, I'm actually, I had a little bit of a screw up, so I'm actually delaying starting the timer for about a half hour to boil off a little bit more. Here's seeing this one. Oh, crap. I love this flashlight. I got it for $4.99. It hangs. It has a magnet, so it sticks on the metal. It's got different it hangs. settings. It's my favorite. I got four of them. Okay, flashlight, got it. All right, come on, Vena. Can you see that? No. Oh. Now you can, I think. Let's see. It's an amazing it's flashlight. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're walking outside. Yeah, and then you want to put on metal. It'll connect, or you can hang it. Thanks for the demonstration, man. And it bends. Dude, the best. See, it sticks to the table. Oh, I can't get it off. <laughs> Alrighty. We're moving in for a win. Okay. <laughs> hey, Todd, what's happening, buddy? There's the money shot. See? That's beautiful. Yes, yes. Yeah. It's boiling. Mm -hmm. Very user friendly. Mm -hmm. It's not hot to the touch. It's not going to burn yourself. Yeah. Just make sure when you open it. <laughs> Get your face away. <laughs> well, when you open it, seriously, pull down, like, oh, so that you I'm don't do open it. it this way. Okay. Because if, right, you, if so you open it the other way, yeah, the, the steam can come out of the bottom. And burn your hand. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Very easy, user friendly. Brian to work. <laughs> Two ten ninety Bruin. <laughs> exactly. All right, Mr. Bill. Can't get to the center of the kettle via the opening. Why, uh, ben, why would you need to get to the center of the kettle? <laughs> I, just out of curiosity. That's funny, Leo. I know I'm half. A, I'm older than half a century now. That was a lot to deal with. No, I'm just kidding. Kind of weird. It's phenomenal, right? I know. I tried. Someone's in the room for you. It's like me making pizza. I try. Brian, it's also have a lovely brew assistant day. You know, but oh, that's sweet. It's almost Mr. That. Bill. <laughs> there we go. They, re they redesigned this, by the way. The first one that they sent me wasn't, uh, didn't fit very well, and I had I had fits with it last night, so I was happy that uh, I had the redesigned one. Did it expand or something? 
No, it's just the tolerances, how they molded it or whatever. It was just a little okay. bit tight. So, you know, I mean, it does expand a little bit when it gets hot. So, Where's the flashlight from? I believe I got it from Menards. <clears throat> yes, you did get it from Menards. Yeah, and I love it. Certainly. And it bends. Oops, there, like that. And it hangs. And it's magnetic, not that you can see, but like it sticks to this table right here. And it has different settings. It's my jam. I love that in tie wrap. I uh, flash. She's a tie wrap junkie. <laughs> tie wraps you can use them all the time. You can use them to bind and gag people in the basement. I know. I just put that in my mind too. I was like, that's not really what I was talking about. Thanks, Brian. <laughs> Bam. Mm. Went there, didn't he? I wish we had Menards down here. Oh, they're funny. Clean in the mash tun. Brain's cleaning the mash tun. That's weird. I'm usually doing that. I know you're usually the one. What's up? What's up with that? <laughs> I'll still clean it. I know. I'm just trying to do something while I'm doing something else. Ah, uh, charge port broke on my last shop flashlight. Yeah. It's an excellent shop flashlight, by the way. I could do a commercial for mm. them. I was so sold. I, I bought four at the store. I dropped a 20 spot. I love you. See, it sticks. <laughs> <laughs> it sticks. It just got close up. to the middle and it went, I am. <laughs> so this is all working. It's doing good. All right, your turn. All right. Okay. All right. I'm not having a lot of hops. I think I have uh, oh, it be uh, two, like two and a half ounces, something like that. Not not a lot. So. Um, the other purpose of the the steam hat midsummer hot sauce is because uh, I have a hood up here and it has a 460 CFM fan, but it is not strong enough to pull all of the steam out. And the basement turns into a sauna, <laughs> which is why they sent me the steam hat. Was because I had, I mean, I literally had water dripping off of every uh, piece of ductwork and everything down here. It was crazy. I am equipped to deal with the situation. Yeah, Gary, I, I um, screwed up the sparge by just pumping water directly into the kettle rather than sparging over the grains. And... So because of that, I actually oversparged a little bit and um, didn't sparge probably at, as much as I should have with the grains. So I was over on volume a little bit and um, under a little bit on gravity. So I'm just trying, I'm, I'm pausing it for a half an hour to um, boil off a little bit and then uh, I'll start the timer and do an hour boil. So it's gonna wind up probably being like an hour and a half boil or something. Okay. <sighs> but I don't want to start the timer because I don't want to add the hops for the full hour and a half because then it'll have more bitterness. So. Yes, no, thank you. Less than 20 IBUs. I'll be fine. I mean, I'm, I'm okay with whatever. Um, if it doesn't boil off as much as I think it should and I boil off some, I'll be fine. I mean, it's still going to... It's still going to wind up, you know, somewhere, uh, I think the gravity on the, the, uh, recipe, let me see what it was here, I'll tell you. Six, you said, call it six, five, eight. Um, let me see what it was here. Uh, all righty then. Um, OG was going to be 1060. Yeah, I can add. I have some DME. I can add some at, at the last 15 minutes if it's not uh, not close to what I want. So, not a, not a huge ordeal. I'm not too upset by it. It's a learning experience and showed you guys how not to screw it up. So I'm 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 okay if it's a little bit under. It won't be too big of a deal. Uh, Bruno Stout, Todd.
Sure. Yeah, it's doing a great job of knocking back the seam, though. For sure. There's a little bit of steam escaping out of the lip of the kettle right there. Oh, well, no wonder. What's that on? Well, you're, you're taking my water away. Oh, I wondered about that when I was doing this. <laughs> okay, you didn't say anything yet. So I, I didn't think going. about it until just now. I'm done. We're good. <laughs> More things are... Mm. Um, Kenny, I think, um, uh, Bradley, uh, from Portly Gentleman has, uh, I'm going to say a thousand CFM or something like that. And he says it pulls all the steam out. He does have a steam hat with a extension pipe on the top of it. So it goes up pretty close to the exhaust fan. Was that at the extension pipe you were looking for earlier? No. Oh, okay. I didn't think so. No. It was going to be smaller. No, they were talking about an extension for the okay. nozzle piece right. in there. Yeah. <coughs> but I think a, I think a thousand CFM would probably do it. Saying hello to my little friend. Mm hmm It's like a R two D two. Mm-hmm. It's R two B two. Makes beer. Right. <laughs> R two B two. Mm. Are to be tools. We got all this going on up here. Yeah, I think I think the biggest thing was she was using the, the pressure and that was why it was. Yeah, I wondered about that. I think I should have said something. You weren't yelling yet, so I thought we're good. Not that he yells. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I still get a little bit coming out of there every once in a while. Oh, amazing. That's good. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. What if you just push down in the center? You can't it would do that. You've got to go around. Oh, okay. I tried it already. Don't work that way. It works well, though, once you get on. In it. the boil. Yes, Ben. We are in the boil. And... In the pizza and in the boil. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Another 15 minutes or so, and I'll start the timer. Cool. Did you figure out how many years ago you started um, brewing? Mm. Wasn't it like... A little over 10, I think. Yeah, about 12 or 13. Mm -hmm. Something like that. Yeah. But yeah, it's actually... Drain her. It's running... It's running right into the floor drain. There's no pressure or anything on yeah. it. It's just it's running. It's, it's running. It was me turning the water on. Out into there. It seems like it's consistent, steady. Yep. That's what I need for the kitchen. It's just like that and a squeegee and just. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Oh, sorry, I missed that, Todd. Yeah, it is. It is the worst part of watching a live brew day is not having a full fermenter. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Who's Todd? Two ten nine. Okay. Ooh. Did you answer um, Mr. Shuckles one? How much water does the steam hat use? What? How much water does the steam hat use? I honestly don't know. I mean, it's, um, I'm not sure what the nozzles are rated for. I mean, it's, it's got a pretty good little flow going through it, but I don't know how much.
to that is steam that's being condensed and how much is actually the water from the, the sprayer. I'm not 100% sure. Okay. Now you guys sent me three different nozzles. I picked the one with the smallest hole. Or it looked like the smallest hole. Maybe that was the angle. I don't know. The angle of the dangle. Okay. I wasn't sure about that. I mean, it's, uh, I turned down to 44% and that seems to be okay now. So, but it's still, I mean, it's still got a good, it's still hella boil in there. So, okay. It's so quiet and everything. Yeah, I know something else in it. <laughs> I was like, why is that there? <laughs> Just noticed it's it. The bag hanging. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Too funny. Lovely. So this is flashing, and that's normal because it's been flashing the whole time. Yep. Two twelve. That's pretty user friendly. Mm hmm. Good boiling. Yep. Two ten. Mm hmm. Right. <laughs> Should be labeled 3,000 yeah. 2.5. Yeah. How long you can leave a beer in a fermenter? Off the yeast cake or on the yeast cake? No, it said off. I've left them in there for quite a while. I don't yeah. know. You know, you've some, left them in there. So some some people are are purists and say, oh, you can only you know you can only leave them. You don't you want to get them off the yeast cake as soon as possible. But I've left beers on the for on the yeast cake and fermenters for which made me worried, but it was a couple fine. months probably. Yeah. No problem. No problem. Some people say you get off weeks. flavors and all kinds of stuff like that. Yeah, 46 weeks. You can. <laughs> Didn't miss anything. Yeah, four to six weeks would be wouldn't be a problem, I don't think. I don't think it'd be a problem at all. Yeah. Well, I don't, yeah, I don't think there's any issue with either one of those, right? Yeah. Raymond. What time is it? 2.33. Yep. <laughs> He's a little jaded running that dog. Oh, <laughs> bottle opener. Yeah. Yeah. It hurts though. But you're cool. I like to wear it. The, uh, the bottom pipe here is not, I mean, it's warm, but it's okay. not too oh, hot for the ah, touch. It's the one that <laughs> so hot. Yeah, exactly. You're more callous than mm -hmm. I am. Oh, mm. it smells so good. Did you get enough pizza? Mm. Hmm? Did you get enough yeah. pizza? Um, <laughs> likes, dislikes, uh, they're, they're two different systems, really. I mean, uh, you know, as far as... Uh, between this and the three vessel system, I, I do I like this system I think just because of the amazing. versatility of it. Yeah. Um, but I, I I like the the process. I guess it's probably the process that I like with the three vessel system that's different than this. And More I wouldn't say on. either one of them are better than the other one. And, I, and it's not a cop out answer. It's just there. It's a different process. And you know it's. It, I like the swapping of the hoses and all that kind mm -hmm. of stuff. With this, you're just doing it with valves. You like which, to keep busy. You yeah, you can, you can do, you can do, you know, three-way valves and stuff like that, and, and completely hard plumbed uh, three-vessel herm system. But I don't know. I just like I like changing all the hoses and doing all that stuff, and and uh, it feels, it feels like, it feels almost like brewer, a, a, 
brewing in a brewery, you know, because they usually have a mash ton and a, and a He loves the to hot cook, too, so. so if you can understand, yeah. he likes all his yeah. things out in little containers and jars, and yeah. he adds it and does stuff at a certain time frame. It's just how he is. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Cheers, Adrian. <laughs> yep so many uh ways you can brew yeah i mean I, yeah I, I i definitely agree with that <laughs> yeah i mean there's there's some economics at work as well i mean you know but i will say that a three vessel system is not any cheaper than this and you know it's they both they both make good beer it's just i think for somebody that has limited space and you know wants to have the versatility of and it's being able to do and just just contain can i answer sorry keep interrupting me <laughs> um, i thought i was adding yeah okay it's like scribbling on somebody's paper i added graphics to your paper you have pizza on your shirt <laughs> so go ahead <laughs> I forgot what I was going to say now. You're at your comparing. Smallest batch you could brew on the 150? Well, I don't know. That, brew tools probably could ask that, but it's probably... Hmm. Interesting. I bet it's 10 or 15 gallons, probably. What's that? <laughs> just, just a little interjection. 35 liters pre boil. Cool. Yeah, did you burn your ear? <laughs> Is it warm? <laughs> Let me listen. Yeah, yeah, DJ, you know, if it, if it works for you, then it's definitely, it, that's one of the things I would say about this system is that, you know, I was talking about it earlier, if you're buying into an ecosystem. I love the robo brewers. Yeah. It's, yeah, I mean, it's, it's not cheap, but it's not cheaply made either. I mean, it, you're not, you know, it's really, really thick. I mean, it's, it's not, a thin walled vessel like some of the other systems out there so and it's uh it it's like a timeshare or a camper yeah exactly <laughs> when was the last time i brewed on gas oh my gosh wow hmm. was it a night 2008 or 2009 probably yeah, i don't think i brewed on gas since then mm -hmm. something like that Yeah, I suppose. I mean, but the, the thing about it is, if if you have a if you have a uh, bench that you operate on. And Aaron's right with the um, anvil. They that was a mm. good upgrade when they um, up the controller. Hmm. What's that? Oh yeah. Anvil. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's definitely mounted mount higher. Now that that'd be awesome if you if you can uh, if you can mount the controller on the wall. That'd be really cool. He said they're working on a mount to like a wire put it on the no or? a cable extension to be able oh, to put it up on the wall. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. so that'd be cool. Uh, three vessel thinking of getting to one fifty. That is a behemoth. <laughs> Just remember, you have to feed it lots of grain. <laughs> lots of grain, hmm. for sure. Really, gentlemen, I'd love a woman to control her. <laughs> what? That's what we're gentlemen. <laughs> I'd love a woman to control. You sound like Brian. We're supposed to be wall mounted. <laughs> <laughs> Can't control him, Bradley. Sorry. Not going to happen, buddy. He's laughing. Wall mounted. <laughs> I will tell your wife about that Freudian slip. 
God. Oh, wait a minute. Well, are you looking for a wall-mounted woman? <laughs> Maybe I should ask that. You have your little conversation here. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. The system is indicative of the craft yeah, beer. Yeah, the, <laughs> the, the craft beer pie, I haven't dabbled with it yet. People keep asking me to do it. I, I, I suppose I might at some point, but just haven't had a chance to do that type of thing yet. I wouldn't mind doing some DIY build stuff again at some point. You always do <clears> DIY build stuff. I know. Stuff. <laughs> just need That's less your to, favorite. Less to do. <laughs> All right, let's see where we are. Well, I think we'll go ahead and add the hops now and Crap, what kind is this again? Eureka. Yeah, Eureka hops. Um, it smells like Cascade and Chinook. <clears throat> yes, it does have some uh, herbal, mm. piney kind of stuff. It's I use them mainly because they're like high alpha acid. They're like 16%. But it's not as piney as Columbus. No. No, this is very fragrant and mm -hmm. beautiful. Woo! Yep. Where does that come from? Um, this is actually Columbus. from Hopsteiner. This, uh, as just another shameless plug for the experiment we're doing, um, one of the sponsors of our yeast experiment is a Hopsteiner. And they actually sent out a care package of several different hops to all of the participants in the contest. And one of the hops that they sent out was Eureka. And I, I was putting together this that. recipe <laughs> and I said, Eureka? Yeah, I'll use those. <laughs> it's just like, Whoa, are you okay? <laughs> yeah, it's like passing the basketball and watch it dribble off the court. <laughs> Usually you like to talk, so I was trying bum, to listen bum. and yeah, not yeah. interrupt. Because uh, I interrupt, apparently. My bad. I interrupt. All right, hops are in. Well, it's all bubbly in there. Yeah, it's beautiful. Eureka, but I look, I took a shower this morning. <laughs> Eureka, Eureka Pops? Eureka Pops? Mm. On your other electric system without the steam hood, how well does your overhead vent? Um, the, the other system, my Herm system, with a 5500 watt element, um, in the old basement before with the same uh, vortex fan, it had no problem pulling the steam out. I guess a little bit would escape, but I think I would attribute that to the way I had to go out of the side of the house was I was had a six inch pipe and then I had to elbow up between a very small space yeah, in the cool. raft the, the floor joist. I didn't like it. So I had to cone you know reduce down to four inch and go out with a four inch. With this one it's six inch hole all the way out of yeah. the basement and in the garage. Out will go out it will go out the front of the garage mm -hmm. eventually. But I don't think it'll have any problem uh, sure. doing that. But part of you know the thing you have to understand is that the diameter of the pot matters a lot because there's more surface area the diameter for the evaporation. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> um, Eureka! So, yeah. Thank you. Okay. So if I just hold it, then it starts going. Right. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Mush. Good thing I got the I got my um, mush, got my assistants watching across the globe to tell me I'm a great when assistant. to do. I'm I just have to pay attention to the screens. Like if I'd have done that earlier, I wouldn't have you know, I know. done what I my did. Fault. I wasn't your fault. Better assistant. I'm just like I was a dumbass. I was a dumbass that didn't turn the knob. I'm just doing nothing. Nobody's fault but mine. Dripping quarter. Okay. Well, that's weird. Why? Is it leaky? Foam coming out or something. It was strange. Very nice. <sighs> Is David Hank Keith? Yeah. Andrew. I think they were working on a way to do that, uh, Alan, if I remember correctly. 
<laughs> There's a guy in Luxembourg telling somebody how to start to blow a tire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> guilty. Mm. <laughs> we need everybody. Remote, remote. It's like it's remote a group viewing. thing. It takes remote a village. viewing. It's remote brewing. Yeah, mm. it's a group thing. Um, I do. I don't know if the jacket is included in the standard package or not. That'd be something they would have to tell you. I don't know for sure. Big fish hunter. Thanks. Cheers. Is he leaving? No, he asked leaving? me a question about the. Oh, okay. Yeah. So see the, oh, there it is. finishing my thought, what I was saying he or she, is either. the the kettles in my other system are probably a third less diameter than this. So there's less boil off. There's less surface area, less boil off. So cloud enabled brewing. Yeah, I mean, I, I agree with you, Brew Tools. I, don't, I mean, I, I put it on here just because you guys sent it, but um, it looks cool. <laughs> I don't think I need it in, in the basement here because it's, uh, it's not cold outside. No, so, but you know. in Norway. Oh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's cold as H-E double hockey sticks over there. <laughs> <laughs> yes, cloud-enabled brewing, Francisco. <laughs> or maybe it's cloud-disabled brewing. <laughs> No, because you're doing it, not just me. Right. I wouldn't have a channel if it was just me. I mean, like, yeah. <laughs> people are like, yeah. oh, it's done. It's really weird. It's got like some foam or something getting all that. Interested. Well, why would that happen? Mm -hmm. You don't have like PBJ or, you know. PBJ. <laughs> <laughs> right? Mm. PBW? No, I say that. Right. I'm kidding. <laughs> but anyway, why would it do that? <laughs> Backseat brewers. Uh, Backseat brewers. <laughs> yep. Um, I mean, you can you can kind of work it out, uh, Mr. Bill, if you take the total wattage of the system. He said Mr. Bill seriously. Oh, no, Mr. Bill. <laughs> <laughs> that just made my day. <laughs> you can kind of work it out. It's so like if, if you're, <laughs> if it's like six kilowatts. And I've got it on a 45% duty cycle. You said duty. Um, yeah, you could take whatever your your um, KW rate is, and actually do a do a calculation on it where you okay, do 40% of an hour times whatever your your kilowatt hour is. <laughs> Let me see brewery. Yeah, <laughs> inside wind brewery. <laughs> Yeah, not with six kilowatts. I'll tell you, I actually, I have the, the basement window open. I have the, the hood on low, so it's sucking cold air in. And I actually turned a box fan on over here, sitting on a chair to blow cooler air over here, just because of the fact that it's so warm. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Bill goes to brewing. You can see him going down the, the uh, steam chamber. <laughs> Down the drain. <laughs> they were funny. Very funny. DME. Probably could use more of it to really to amp it up a little bit, but yeah. We boost it a little bit. The only issue that I've got now is that since I'm using the condenser, I can't really clean anything, and I'm gonna need I need to sanitize my fermenters. But I will. Uh, oh wow! Thanks, I appreciate it, guys. <laughs> he has to take a drink for every dollar. Holy crap! <laughs> I don't have that. I don't have that many in there. <laughs> uh, thanks for the super chat. I appreciate that. Mm. Very much. I think actually, I think that's my uh, my first super chat. As a matter of fact. Yeah, it's 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 uh, it's it's impressive looking for sure. <laughs> 
when I got it all together last night, I was like, holy crap, this thing is pretty freaking, it's pretty badass looking. I mean, it, it is for sure. I keep stepping, I keep stepping out of the camera. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's very impressive with the steam head and everything on it and the, and the, uh, the steam condenser. I think, uh, and then the guys at Brew Tools have a, it's both as, aesthetically pleasing and, and very functional. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Miskin. Want that? Yeah. It's, I'm starting to cool off now. It was just, it's hot. Do you have another one of my beers up there? Yeah. Okay. Somebody did a $10 super chat. They did? Mm hmm. That's fantastic. Yep. First one I ever had. Aww. <laughs> Who are they? Um. Uh. Fresh mirrors. Yep. Too? Yep. That's awesome. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. She's gonna get me another beer so I can take another drink. <laughs> are you doing a drinking game? Yeah, they. they I'd take a, a drink for every dollar. <laughs> Tell you what, from where I was last weekend, last weekend I was laid up on the couch, knee full of fluid. This past week, not to gross you out or anything, but uh, this past week went to the doctor and they actually took 130 milliliters off of my knee, fluid, fluid off my knee. Um, it was crazy. I set a record for the most fluid ever taken off of somebody's knee at the doctor's office. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, we've had, we actually have had really light amount of snow too. A uh, hundred, uh, ten dollars per milliliter. <laughs> that would be nice. Yeah, right. That's a good payback. <laughs> that made it worth it. Yeah, I mean, I, I literally could not, I couldn't move my knee. I couldn't, I couldn't walk. I, I couldn't do much of anything and the clouds parted cheers everybody have a beer we're brewing beer <laughs> drinking beer talking about beer uh, talking about brewing beer but not being saucy and not slurring. cheers cheers okay open the eyes what about them oh sorry <laughs> <laughs> well cheers and we'll look into your another eyes another drink I am having a, is it a, is it? Hazy. Yeah, what is it called though? Uh, what is it? Hazy little thing. Yeah, so I'm having the hazy little thing from Sierra Nevada. Don't move it, Kyle. Okay. Good beer. Good beer for sure. Holy crap. Thank you, Francisco. Wow. Brian has a $3 limit, though, for beer drinking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, you guys are fantastic. Trying to smash me. <laughs> yeah, I know. You want to see him slur, don't you? <laughs> no. That is so awesome. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, thank you, guys. He I'm, has I'm, a passion. Mm. Um, like I said, we came home early one weekend, and that wasn't the first time from somewhere, mm. so he could work on his brew stuff. We went camping on a weekend. It was Mother Day, Mother's Day weekend, and we came home early because he had to focus on this before Monday. <laughs> so. oh. <clears throat> thank you so much. I'm, I'm completely blown away, guys. I, I really am. I, I really appreciate it. I, I don't even know what to say hardly. It's just <laughs> it's all crazy. Good. Crazy. Thank you. He loves this. Mm-hmm. Thank you. He loves you. Absolutely. I think he loves you guys more than me. Oh, stop. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Did I show you my flashlight yet? Yeah, right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> flashlight in the house. Damn, it's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there's a steel the magnet. steel reinforcement mm -hmm. piece underneath of there. <laughs> uh, drinking a punk IPA. <clears throat> oh, oh, clone. Okay, cool. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Better than the original. Awesome. I tell you, sometimes when you clone a beer like that, when you uh, when you when you get the fresh version of it, 
man, it's it's really good, for sure, <clears throat> for sure. Who's texting? My sister. Oh. Looking good, looking good. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really, I'm, I'm very blessed that she likes, number one, first off the top, that she likes the smell of brewing beer, because that's usually the first out for a lot of ladies, is they don't like the smell of beer brewing. And then number two, she likes to drink beer too, and likes to try beers and all that kind of stuff, so. Anti-arm wrestle. <clears throat> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Then there's that. <laughs> Time to put a lock on the tap. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone wants to arm wrestle me. <laughs> Sounds like we should do some rose gold electroplated version of B80 Pro for Kelly. <laughs> Ooh. Wow. That's awesome. Man. Yeah, everything's beautiful. Yeah, right? I have to put in another circuit so it can run dual dual B80s. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's hmm. our own marriage. That's right. Hmm. Couples that brew together stay together, right? That's right. <laughs> Your wife won't even go to church with you. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Well, you know. Hmm. Hey, there you go. Uh, that's that's awesome. Hmm. Yeah, Kelly signature Four. edition. <laughs> <laughs> All we gotta do is get her some pink boots. Oh yeah. Mm. She's fine. like, okay, cool. Okay. <laughs> I'm there. Give it. <laughs> mm. Fantastic. Thanks again, Francisco. I appreciate it. Mm. Aaron's happy with him brewing. Aw. Mm. And Aaron's wife likes him brewing. That's good. Fun. Mm -hmm. no, that's awesome. This smells good. I, I'm smelling a little bit of the hops. I don't know if it's out of the down there or if it's. Uh, out of here? I think it's coming out of there. Mm. It could be both. That's really interesting. There's like a lot of, um, like, almost looks like soap bubbles in there. Yeah. Weird. Why, why would that? I don't know, it's just, they dissipate as soon as I take this off of there. I don't know if it's yeah. something to do with the the uh, steam in there. Well, with the residue, too. With that gas. Being well, condensed or what? But maybe the heat made it activate so much that it did a foam. I don't know. Like it's burning, is it burning something too quickly? I don't know, I don't think so. Just an observation. Come on, get in there. Pink neoprene jacket. <laughs> Pink neoprene jacket. I think that's cool. Here we go. I would wear it. <laughs> Kelly's gonna have her own channel. <laughs> Fashion <laughs> brewing. That's right. I think I got something there. Mm. Heck yeah. You got the right shoes. Yeah. The right shirt, the right earrings, <coughs> the right hat. If you want to wear a hat. Fashion oh, brewing. That's funny. Hey, fashion brewing. Doing it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm, 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 I do geek out a little bit on some electronic stuff and all that, all that kind of thing. I, you know, it's like, <laughs> yeah. Setting up all this stuff for doing the live stream is, is a blast. I had a fun. Oh gosh. I have fun with it. He loves <clears> all <throat> his little gadgets. And this is this is just tip of the iceberg. I'd, I'd like to have about two or three more camera angles. <laughs> I could switch between. Yeah, you can't see up our nose. <laughs> <laughs> what do you need another angle for? Like you know, like a the, the pizza the, that's the, gone. The bar cam, you know, so you can see. <laughs> so I'll switch over there when you go pour a beer. Yeah, how many times little... I go over there? <laughs> One. I do Two, have no. Three. I do have these, and I sip, and I have eat pizza. These. Yeah. Eighteen halves <laughs> is still nine holes. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm oh. fine. I'm just kidding. It's like, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly's channel could be pimp my home brewery. <laughs> oh man. I would do that. Funny. <laughs> I can't see up your nose. You don't want to see up my nose. <laughs> Don't do it. 
You don't want to. Hmm. Well, if he adds another camera angle, I don't see whether our angle is left. Yeah, right. <clears throat> I don't know. I think of something. <laughs> the bar cam for Chad and Larry's color commentary, like the rain side. Yeah, right. Like <laughs> have uh, do a do a Google Hangout and have uh, Chad and Larry in a little commentary box in the corner down there. <laughs> hey, it looks like they're screwing this one up. Larry. <laughs> Leo, that's hilarious. This is so funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think we need some flowers over here. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's funny. Um, I almost brought some flowers down. Because <laughs> we have them upstairs. I was just we don't need no set props down here. <laughs> we got plenty of stuff to look at. Frank got me some roses. <laughs> Overhead, yeah, absolutely. Yep, yep. Well, I've done that plenty of times before. Do Pretty you like cool. seeing a bald head? Not mine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, take off your wig. No. Take off your wig. No. Show everybody I, your bald head. I am gonna shave my head one day because I'm mm. tired of doing my hair. I won't have short hair. I like long hair, but I'm so tired of doing it, so I'm going to shave my head. Right. That'll be for the next live brew day. Okay. <laughs> Can we shave your head live? No. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to make an IPA hair brew. Ew. <laughs> Sounds gross. Somebody said the cat hair adds character. I don't want, I don't want, I don't, I don't, I don't nah. I'll pass. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Oh, Lord. oh my goodness. Flowers not needed. You got hops. That's right. Floral. You can smell it all up in here. Geese Kent Goldings. <clears throat> okay. That was one of the things you A wide say. angle shot of the whole brewery would be cool. Aw. Well, there's well, let me a get little the bit of stuff. Well, rags off of there. Can you get the rags off of there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let her tidy up a little bit and I'll, I'll give you a little, okay. little t shot here. Yeah, right. It gives a whole new meaning. Yeah, no kidding. No kidding. Let me uh, get an angle here. That's right. Luckily for me, I spent a whole bunch of time cleaning the other day, so... <clears throat> No, I'll do it now, Francisco. I don't care. We need to kill some time I anyway. I need to so. move these somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> they need folded. No. Mm. Not folded. I'll fold them. I'm just saying they, they need really folded. do? Well, oh, I mean, I don't want to. They're clean. I don't big pile. Oh, I didn't realize they were clean. Yeah, they're clean. clean. I wonder what you were doing. Yeah, so uh, along the lines of the the um, containers that I bought from the Dollar Tree the other day, I got these cotton cloths from Walmart for... 18 pack for 3.97 or something. Just uh, make sure if you do those that you get some perfume and dye free um, detergent. All, detergent, yeah. All A L L. <clears throat> all right, here we go. Yeah. Be careful the light gets really bright. Okay. I don't know why I like to do the drum roll sound. Well, that's a nice fan there, honey. Yeah, it's awesome fan. My three vessel herm system. <laughs> honey, Francisco. Brian oh, did all the woodwork himself. Here. He cut all the wood himself. We poured. He poured the concrete countertops. We carried Glass them. Rinser. Those were heavy. There My eyeballs were about to pop out. Jelly. There's Bruder. Decorators. Sometimes you just gotta say, we don't need groceries. That's right. We need a basement. Uh, Bright lights. Bright <laughs> yeah, lights. You got me in there. It's like the sun. Woohoo! Go Bucks. And then the storage area. Thanks, Ken. Hey, Brule Tools loves the um, glass cleaner. 
that was Brian's creme de la creme. He like kept asking me to come downstairs so he could show me. <laughs> I'm like, this is the seventh time in one hour. Okay, I'm just gonna stand here. It's really great though. Yep. And you did it yourself, honey. I did. Love this setup. That's so sweet. Damn good. Rex Brew said that glass cleaner is the bomb. It actually is really good. If I went upstairs, I'd be happy to do dishes a lot. <laughs> <laughs> right on. It takes off lipstick even. That's all right. Ask her What's the knows. F on the screen? What? Did we do something? <laughs> Are you being, are, are you being, uh, yeah, I, I, you're being, you're being smart, aren't you? You're being smart. <laughs> it's called Fahrenheit. <laughs> Celsius. Thank you, Aaron. Mm. It's all Brian, though. <laughs> I just brought food down because Thanks, I was like, Brad. where's mm. my husband? Fahrenheit. <laughs> He's still breathing. He was messing with us, Aaron. He was messing with us. <laughs> oh, thank you, Brad. He said top notch. Yeah, thanks, man. Brian has packed mm. a punch down here. It's the smallest basement we have ever had, and it's the most finished basement we've ever had. Yeah, it's uh, it's nice to actually have something finished. So it's it's always good. It's almost done. I mean, we could move our bed down here and have right? like our master bedroom. Yep, exactly. There's Sleep TV. down here. Get up, have a beer at two a.m. I know. Go back to bed. Home. Yeah, go back to work. <laughs> <laughs> Whoop, forgot to transition over to the other. Oh. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. I forgot yeah. I didn't transfer trans, uh, uh, back over. pretty amazing, Brian. Oh, <clears throat> lots of jelly people. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> well, we've been together over 20 years, mm -hmm. and this is the first finished basement we ever got to do. Yes, let's use Kelvin, Larry. <laughs> <laughs> As opposed to what, Brew Tools? Uh, parsecs and light years? <laughs> so funny. Oh, man. She's hilarious. Very groovy. So what's everybody planning on brewing next? Presidential tweets for Moon. Um, yeah, I mean, I suppose, Ben. I'm not sure. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> presidential tweets for Moon. I know. <clears throat> I guess I, I'd like to know what the, the beer rinser is for to make glasses beer clean. They should technically be. No, the beer rinser they is should for be, Brian. No, no, they should be clean already the beer rinser idea is just to well, if you have remove taps, any kind of well yeah. it's just to remove any kind of um dust or anything like that on the, oh, on, the, okay. on the glasses but also if you want to try a different beer that's on tap you can rinse your yeah absolutely yep new england ipa oh yeah once i get done with the brew tools uh brew tools brew tubers <laughs> experiment beer i'm gonna be uh i'm gonna it's try to perfect uh, yeah i'm gonna try to perfect the uh New England IPA been working on so. Fat tire clone <laughs> love fat tire. Hazelnut knuckleizing. Hmm. Oh, that's neat. He loves hazelnut. Uh -huh. Hmm. Yep. That's interesting. How would you make that, Jamie? Did you make that? Brewing for the SJ Core Challenge. Really. It is time. It is time to brew your best beer. Oh, is that what you said? <laughs> yeah. Enjoy the fruits of your labor, friends. Fens? Friends, yeah, Fens. Fens. Nobody gives them. Fens, that's like a, that's Norwegian. <laughs> Finland, Finland, they call their friends Fens. See? You gotta slow down. Yeah, I, I know. I can't do this by myself. <laughs> I can't do this. I'll be right back. Slow down. <clears throat> So we need to just uh, recirculate some uh, some wort through it, some hot boiling wort. Yeah, no problem, Mark. I did a little bit of work on those. Nice, that sounds good.
Is your daughter old enough to drink, Thomas? <laughs> we just cycle some, we just cycle some uh, hot water through the chiller. What are you thinking? <clears throat> I figured I'd do that like 10 or 15 minutes. Yeah, I, I figured what you meant, Mark. <laughs> I haven't created a lot of uh, profiles for anything else, so. Oh, okay, all right. So is there anything else I would need to do to prepare the chiller, or is that it? Oh, wow. I did not realize that you had, you had children that old. Oh, well, I'm using one of the hoses for the uh, steam condenser, but I've got the, the other, uh, not the outlet hose. I can connect it. doing good. Okay. It's the easiest brew day ever. I know. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Mm -hmm. That's pretty efficient. It's pretty yep. amazing. All Absolutely. you really need is a sink and a drain. So just for if you don't know, <coughs> making no assumptions on what people know, uh, the counterflow chiller works basically uh, the hot wort comes in here, cold water comes in here, and then exits out the top or out, out this, this side here. So you want to have the, the exit coming out the same side as the inlet. So basically the, the, the hot wort is introduced to cold water at the end of the coil so that as it passes through it, it does the heat exchange. Oh, thanks, Stuart. I appreciate it, man. Oh, that's so awesome. Yeah. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. For the proper glass we spoke about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, probably the, 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 most, the most relaxing for you guys. Just watching brewing and telling people what to do. Uh, yeah, uh, hook up that hose and uh, do that. And Oh, hey, by the way, you forgot to turn off that valve. <laughs> I know we're like hmm. some puppets. You're right. Marionette. There should, That's be, actually, there should be an app. Somebody's no. telling you what to do. No. <laughs> you no. just don't even think. No. You just listen to music and you no. brew beer. No. <laughs> That'd be fun. I don't know. Mm -hmm. That's kind That's of how I am. am with you, though. That's You're right. <laughs> Are you showing them the drain? Yeah, that's the, that's the water output for the steam condenser. Eight hundred ninety parts per million. Eight hundred ninety parts per million. Pumping it out. Oh. <coughs> Just kidding. We call them wives. <laughs> mm. Supervised brewing is very. Good. Yes, actually, uh, brew tools. I should do that. I should uh, bottle up some of this uh, stout whenever it's done and uh, bring some to Nashville for you guys. We could do that. That would be great. Uh, yes, Aaron, that is a floor drain. He jackhammered the house. <laughs> yeah. I, <laughs> and the, and the, other, the other part of it that's, that's crazy is the sewage or the outlet for all of our sinks and everything yeah. is above the gray, above the floor <laughs> by probably three or four feet. So I actually had to jackhammer the whole floor Without well, not telling the whole Kelly. Floor. <laughs> I told you. <clears throat> no, I don't want you to. I had to jackhammer me. all the passageways for the pipes and dump them into a lift pump 
and then lift the water or liquid from the drains, the sink drains, the floor drains, all that stuff, up into the ceiling in the basement, across, and then into the drain system. So, a whole lot of stuff. <coughs> oh, he brewed with a brew kit. <laughs> That's funny. Bossy Boncha. <coughs> I mean, act like they own the company or something. <laughs> what the hell? Mm. <laughs> what? Mm. What? What? Mm. Doing good? Mm hmm. Doing mighty fine. <laughs> Larry says, Brian has videos on the remodeling, including the jackhammering. <laughs> yep. Our yeah. cats will never forget the jackhammer. Yeah. Neither will I. They weren't allowed to come down here for a little while. No, they didn't <coughs> want to come down there. I think they wanted to move. <clears throat> yeah, Aaron, if, uh, if, you, uh, if you look, it's under um, Basement Brewery Build, I think is what it is. There's a whole playlist from raw block. I mean, this, this place was all, it was raw, bare oh block. Oh my God, and there was cat and I went from, something down here. Yeah, I went from raw, bare block all the way to this. I built everything out. Yeah. I've done all the plumbing, all the electrical, the drywall. You redid the electrical. We had a light bulb at the <coughs> vent down here. Yeah. We had to rewire. It was ridiculous. <laughs> See, I did all the plumbing, the drywall, the electric, concrete work, everything. All of it. Hmm. Oh, yeah, you're right. I didn't have a lot on the bar build. Oh. I was just too focused on getting it done. Jeez. I have some <laughs> pictures, but yeah. Thanks, Larry. <coughs> Aww. On the spot. Thanks, Larry. Larry takes care of you. I know. He takes care. Of, he takes care of our peeps. <laughs> oh. supposed to do I know it's just <clears throat> seamless right he works for beers yeah exactly no William I will not go pro <laughs> actually was this oh. close to the place that we lived at before we almost did I had the actually had the LLC and everything it would have been a well, third not, I guess not everything I, mean, job I, had, I had the LLC I hadn't done any applications for paperwork for with the state or anything, but we had a place picked out. Yeah, I had a little. Uh, I was going to start a place yeah. in a um, warehouse district not too far away from our house, and I just pulled the plug at the end. Yeah, <clears throat> it was going to be too much work. Because we already have full time jobs that we're yeah. going to fit, and we couldn't quit our lives. Yeah, we're not. We're, we're not. Were, we're not young, and I didn't and get that four hundred thousand dollars <laughs> scratcher. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, it's just too easy. I'm going to sleep I here. I know. <laughs> You're not worried about a thing. <laughs> hey, Brutals, that's a that's a good little check. Yeah. Yeah, just picture me. I know. It's like you could take mm. a nap. Brew right? beer and mm. sleep at the same time. I will take a ginger ale. Okay. If you don't mind. Here. <laughs> Looking pretty good. Yeah, Larry's got a nice little setup out in his garage. <coughs> All right, Leo. Glad you could hang out, man. It was uh, great to have you. See ya, Leo. <laughs> he took a nap during your boil yesterday. Yeah, might as well. <coughs> Say hey to the wife and uh, family for me, Leo. Yeah. Tell them hello. Here, she's right to this. Still waiting on you guys to come over. We can go to Brew Dog. <laughs> Gambit Brewing's leaving too. Cheers. Mm. Thanks for being All right, here. Man. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for hanging out as long as you did, man. I appreciate it.
Thank you, thank you. <clears throat> Hopefully it was semi-educational and partially entertaining. Yeah. <laughs> Very, very cool. <clears throat> what? Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. <clears throat> exactly. All righty. Yeah, it's good. Hey. So, anybody got a joke? Oh boy. <clears throat> Once upon a time, I haven't got a good story. <laughs> hey, that's awesome. Right off, uh, right off time as uh, watching good. YouTube and having a beer. It's completely <laughs> legit. So yeah, Uncle Sam would be like, good job. Uh, absolutely. You've arrived yeah. when you hey, can do that. <laughs> I had a customer and I had to support our, our, our people. And you so did. I had to do it. We would have, yeah, we would have failed a little bit. Not you, me, but us. No, me, not you. <laughs> <Anyway>. <laughs> Thanks for saying that, but oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Oh, stomp my foot at the end. <laughs> Bad knee, now she stomped oh, my foot. Oh, no. <clears throat> Just kick me. Oh, shoot. No, brew tools, that's fantastic. <laughs> hey, Kelly, what you drinking? This is a porter. Okay. From a video. Yeah. Fine. Yep. This was a porter. That I brewed for the um, grandfather. No, oh, it's a, the yeah, grandfather. At first, grandfather did, uh, review party, system you review. Change the recipe a little. And, yep. Yeah. Yep. It's delish. Chocolate. Coffee notes. Uh, William, we are brewing a stout, just a regular run-of-the-mill stout. American stout. Mm -hmm. oh. Um, I don't think that it has the ability to import or. Yeah, import XML Absolutely. recipes. Not to my knowledge. <clears throat> wow, that's a good question, though. It is. Porter's the best. One of my oh, love dark beers. Yep, that's why we're brewing a stout. <laughs> See, I got to brew ten gallons of a stout so that it'll keep her in beer for a while while I brew all these other things, and then she can have some beer. <clears throat> and then summertime comes, it'll be time to do some... Mow the lawn beer. What is a zero minute hop time? Um, that would be like when you either turn the flame off or turn the element off, whatever. Um, huh. You know. Mm. Wow. Did you ever do that? Yeah. Oh, yeah really it's kind that. of the same thing as a hop stand, really. So zero minute would be when you turn off the, the element and start chilling. And basically is what it would be. Oh, okay. So, yep. Strawberry rhubarb <clears throat> beer. You know what? That is like rocking the nation. Strawberry rhubarb. Hmm. All different kinds of things. Interesting. Yeah. Hmm. Awesome. <clears throat> Um, it is a 70 or 80 liter system. So it'll keep me mm. happy for a while. Yeah, so it's like basically. <laughs> I'm just what You're is You're making that? 11 gallons. Yeah, well, I'm making a, it's a 12 gallon batch. Yeah. So. Oh, I thought it was mm -hmm. 11, you said. Yep, yep. Yeah. A sour. Man, I need some eye drops because it's blurry. Okay, there we are. <laughs> well, um, like I said at the beginning of the video, I think it's uh, Loud Bert, Loud Lou Bert. Um, I am going to put timestamps in this video once YouTube gets done processing and all that stuff. It'll be up on the channel, and I'll put timestamps in there for everything, like you know, doing the mash in, and if there's some other significant thing like I've, I've, there was some times that we did a couple of adjustments and stuff on different things um, I'll put that in there so you guys can see that and you can go in the description of the video of this video and actually click on the, the links and go to those specific spots 
rather than having to watch all the banter in between, you can just go to wherever you want to mm -hmm. and uh, do whatever my, you need to do. Drink my wine. <clears throat> That's right. Yes. Drink Keep wine. the wife happy. <laughs> I'm happy anyway. <clears throat> I'm just one of those people. <laughs> well, we and we live out in the country too, where we don't always have like good beer to get a hold of, so we have to make our own. You know. We we do it anyway. I know. I know, but I mean, it's, you know, it's, yeah. it, it's more incentive to make yeah. your own. Oh, most definitely. <clears throat> you have to drive an hour. Good deal. Nope. Ah, uh, yes. You want to move up? Yeah, what am I in the way? Yeah. Yes, it is a steam condenser in the background. It certainly is. It is running currently. We are uh, 12 minutes till the end of the boil. Yeah, no kidding. Why are the two different things on this side? Um, because it says uh, <coughs> boil time. Right? Boil time. Okay, okay, sorry. So the next boil edition, <laughs> the next boil edition is in That's eleven minutes I'm, and fifty seconds, right. and then the total boil time is sixteen so we minutes left. Seventeen minutes. <coughs> Absolutely, Mark. That's what we do. <laughs> Plus, I like I like brew my own beer, anyways. <coughs> Well, I try. I don't know if it's the best around, but I, uh, it, it's fit for human consumption anyways. <laughs> A lot of people like it. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, uh, the steam condenser, basically it turns the steam coming off of the boil back into a liquid and then allows you to basically just drain it off like you would water. As it's opposed to having to exhaust it out with a fan. <clears throat> yeah, what brew tools said. What brew tools said. Oh. Um, I I know you that L is lava bond. I, I don't know what. I'm not 100% sure what uh, EVC is. They're just they're just color designations or like. <clears throat> I guess it would be color designations, yeah. <clears throat> so just how dark or light the beer is. <clears throat> yeah, I'm with you there. I, mine never goes bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, EBC is color and L is lava bond, which is color as well. Just, I think they're different scales though, if I'm not mistaken, because EBC is a little different than lava bond. Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, it, it basically does away with any humidity at all. Um, there's, I mean, there's none basically from it. So, the other thing too it does, William, is um, I feel so much it reduces stress. the amount of boil off because yeah. of the fact that you know there's it, it the steam is not just freely evaporating. I know we usually have to watch it like a hawk, you know. Mm -hmm. We're not watching it. It's so weird. So you can actually reduce the amount of liquid that you have to boil because of the fact that you're you're not boiling off all that stuff. All right, Bradley, have a good one, man. We'll catch up with you soon. Keep doing them videos. <clears throat> Thanks anybody for anybody that wants to uh, see more videos on the B80, go check out Portly Gentleman's channel. Mm -hmm. Bradley over there's got a ton of videos, a lot of them focused on the B80. Good stuff on how to hook up hoses, how to hook up uh, valves and all that kind of stuff. So go check them out. Go subscribe yeah. to them. You won't be sorry. Uh, no, I mean it, it pulls off it, it pulls off plenty of uh, steam and DMS along with it. Uh, I'm sure you probably could. <clears throat> uh, it's not really distilled water because the water that is in what liquid comes off of it has DMS and a bunch of other stuff yeah. in it. And it's not really, I mean, I wouldn't use it for anything else other than maybe water in your garden your or something like that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Plants. Oh, uh, yeah, I suppose you could, Larry. Uh, you know, you would need some sort of a, uh, some sort of a condenser on top other than, because this condenser works in a different, different than a, like a, a pot or a column still. 
because it has a, a spray of water that goes into it. The column still or pot still actually has a coil inside, and it uses that to um, do the condensation. Yeah. Whereas this uses a spray of water. And then, are you also kind <coughs> of distilled water? Yeah, I was just talking about that. Yeah. Whiskey time. <laughs> I have not, Barakoy. <laughs> Did you hear the pump this morning? No. Okay. She was sleeping this morning whenever I filled this up with 15 gallons of water, and I thought for sure she was going to come down. Turn it off! No, but I'm sleepy. She didn't say anything, so. No. I am still going to isolate a little bit because it's kind of loud, but it worked well. The only problem is that the sink faucet. Didn't I mean the uh, the kettle faucet didn't reach out to the kettle, so I had to I wind up with a. Uh, <clears throat> Are you fine? It's okay. I had to put a big, like inch and a half extension, on the inch and a half hose extension on the faucet. <laughs> also, I went to bed really late last. Not normal. I just couldn't. I don't know what I did with it. It's somewhere. <clears throat> I've done some with it. I have no idea. Possibilities are endless I am. at this time. Whatever. <laughs> oh shoot. It's somewhere. Whatever. 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 Yeah, I'm uh, brew father to do the recipe. Sure enough. You gonna take a nap? No, I better. Go grab one of the kitty cats. Yeah. Cuddle up with the kitty cat? Mm -hmm. Right. Are you going to Circ circulate? Yes, yes, I will. I will be circulating to the uh, counterflow chiller. Um, once the, I'm using the recipe mode on the uh, brew tools, and it'll actually tell you to recirculate through the, the chiller. So I will do that at some point once it tells me to. <clears throat> I can hear the well pump in the house. Uh, no, it does not double as a fermenter. It's just a, it's just a boil kettle. No, that's the, the sump pump, the other sump pump, because I'm refilling the reservoir. Oh, okay. Because I pumped all the RO water. Ah, uh, okay. So it's filling up. Wee. Okay, it says, please pump that. Somebody asked about the counterflow chiller. Here we are. And did you read what it said? Yep. What did it kind of say? So now I'm pumping wort through the the counterflow chiller, just like somebody asked a minute ago. And that's mainly just for uh, sanitization purposes. Ben Davis said, I don't think mm. you can use the brew tools as a fermenter. Mm -mm. Right? No. No. You're right, Ben <coughs> Davis. Yeah, it's a, the, the counterflow chiller is already hooked up. So it's a, the nice thing about the three-way valve is I have it hooked up so that um, it goes through the um, the the pump and then into this counterflow chiller and then back out into the kettle to do a whirlpool. Yes, Ben, my valves are set correctly. <laughs> Brew tools advised me earlier to set them in the proper position. <laughs> <We're> <laughs> they have been adjusted accordingly. We're merely a puppet. Thank you for your cooperation. <clears throat> Awesome. Brewed Larry's 11 day lager. I have to say there's nothing like uh, doing fast lagers under under pressure. I, it's amazing. Yeah. yeah, it's crazy. You should turn up the power, you get heat. All right. Groovy. How much did you turn it up? 100%. Oh, 100%? For a little bit. 
a little bit. Just till it gets it back up to a boil again. Because when you circle, when you recirculate through the the uh, chiller, it, it loses naturally heat. loses some heat. Yeah. Yep. Second fire. Oh. <laughs> Message retracted. What did you say, William? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, Kelly asked me if I read all of it. Yeah, I wanted you to read it out sure, loud. Sure, Kelly. I didn't read all of it. I just wanted you to read out loud so everybody knew how informative they are. Yeah. <clears throat> it was on the screen. I know. That's why I didn't say it in twice. <laughs> Pump isn't running. Yeah, I've recirculated through the the um, counterflow chiller already. I mean, I, you don't need to you don't need to keep recirculating through it. You just need to run some some. Um, yeah. uh, <laughs> you just you just need to uh, run some boiling wort through it, and it'll it'll sit in there and sanitize it. It's not you don't have to continue recirculating. No big deal at all. Choose to ban someone. <laughs> He, he thought he was going to get you when somebody retracted their message. <laughs> He's waiting to push the button. Easy there, Larry. Hmm. Eject. Eject. Uh, when you say a good pump for wart chilling, that, that do you mean a good pump to, to pump, pump ice water through the chiller? Physically? Or do you mean a pump to pump wart through a counterflow chiller? Oh. Which one do you mean there? <laughs> I'm your huckleberry. <laughs> um. <laughs> we'll have to wait. We'll, we're all waiting for William to respond. Inquiring mind. <clears throat> we want to know. Hmm. Uh, oh, no, scissors over there. You want to cut that off? And <laughs> cut that off and put it in. Hmm. Yeah. Under yeah. 4,700 gallons per hour at one inch lift. <laughs> you need a big trash can mm. down here. That's what I want to get. Have one over there. Put it right in. Mm. Well, when it, hit, when it goes beep, 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 beep. Oh, when it goes wow. beep, beep, beep. Smells really <clears throat> good. Mm -hmm. Oh, lavender. I like East Kent Go. I like EKG for stouts and porters. It has a really good. Lavender, mm. honey, lemon, thyme, orange, grapefruit. Yep. That's fantastic. So what Larry says, yeah. Um, Larry has more experience with that uh, because of the fact that he's done more of that type of stuff. Hop edition. Last hop edition. Boop. Dump it. Wunderbar. Did a girl dump. <laughs> Thank God it wasn't like a great name dump. <laughs> I knew I shouldn't have said that out loud. I know better. Kelly dump. Stop mm. it. Girl dump. Damn. Darn it. I'm juvenile. What can I say? I know. I can't help it. I just went like pick, 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 where you would be like. <laughs> yeah, I, lo I, I love EKG for some of those uh, porters and stouts and even a brown ale are nice for that. <clears throat> Just adds a lot of adds a lot of nice aromas to the to the end. Grain crush, malt barrel, honey, vanilla, sugar, bitter cream, pump pushes twenty four hundred years. Yeah. Unpumping that hop would give better results. Huh? Do you think it'll burn? Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's pretty much moving in there. Yeah, I mean it's it's you know it's doing that's this a good I, that's a good point. Yeah. I think it's circulating. You would enough. advise against that. <clears throat> Hold till it's because the, yeah, they can pump. get clogged. Oh. Because they kind of float in the float yeah, in the, the solution for a little bit, with the heat, and then they it just then they matters drop the density out. of the pellet. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. Mm -hmm. 
Well, there you go. Woohoo! Takes a village. Can write off another 50 cents and have another drink of beer. <laughs> <laughs> no, great point, though. Yeah. For sure. Yep. All right, so we're ready to uh, hook up the old. Well, no, time remaining for the boil. Two minutes yep. and 30. Yeah. 39 seconds. Uh -huh. Yep, yep. I'll never have that problem, even with heavy hoppy IPA. 600 grams. Hmm. Shazam. That's a little bit. Mm. Does anybody ever put pellets like in water first? Um, you can make a hop tea and yeah. add it to a beer. Yeah, that's right. We, we haven't <coughs> yeah. done it. Wait. Could no, you? not exactly. No, we had a mesh bag though that we did. <laughs> right. Hmm? Right on. It's technically mm. a hop tea. Yep. <sighs> what is that? Have you tried to mash dark grains during the last 30? I generally mash everything together. I mean, I've, I've done, I've done, I did an experiment Especially where I had, um, in the end. what's that? The grains happen to be in the end, the dark grains. Yeah. I mean, I did an experiment where I did, where I had, um, uh, did a cold steep. I did a, add the grains in like at the last 15 minutes and then added the, the dark grains in for the full time. Mm -hmm. You definitely pick up more stringency from the dark grains if you add them at the beginning. I mean, just think of coffee. If you let Burning. coffee sit there and yeah. heat for yeah. an hour versus, you know, doing a cold brew coffee or whatever. So, I mean, <clears throat> kind of depends on what you're looking for, really. So, what would you, what were you thinking of um, for, for cooking with citra? Cook with citra. Hmm. I, I've actually thought of making like Salmon. some... Salmon? Bratwurst or sausage links or something like that with some with some hops. I don't know if I would use you could citra do for it. Citra but, and mm. capers on salmon. I mm. think that would be really good. Yeah, but hops are really Stringent. like acidic. Like yeah. they assault your tongue like crazy. <laughs> well, I'm not <laughs> saying just put the pellet yeah, on that exactly. piece of fish. I understand. I'm I'm thinking of blending. Taste right on. Rutty. Down to the last 20 seconds. Citrus on ice cream, is that what you meant? Woo! Hmm, that's interesting. That would be. <laughs> yeah, Tom, thanks for hanging out with us. I certainly appreciate it. Citra it's been uh, really pecan. cool having the dialogue back and forth. Pecan. Mr. Bill, cream. I will uh, we'll see you. O-H-I-O. -O. Thanks for being here. All right. Well, that's all. Wow, hot ice cream. That's interesting. Turn this off. Cool, Adam. Yeah. And uh, swap this out. Cryo hops. Cryo hops. Oh, cryo. Oh, I missed the R. I mean, I misplaced it. Okay, so we'll start recirculating through the chiller. You should get the garden connectors on the cold water. Congrats on the brew day. That's awesome. Huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, garden. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I, I'm with you. Rose plated garden connectors. And then um, I can switch to. How do I switch to the other probe? There's a third probe. How do I switch to that one? <laughs> what? 
Yeah, I know. Fill the world with my glory, huh, Larry? Mm. I'm cold. Mm. Third probe, replace the timer. Oh, okay, I see. Okay, I see it now. Okay, all right, cool. All right. The phone was blocking my view. I didn't see that. <laughs> Dropping quick, though. <clears throat> Probably helps when my water is about uh, 50 degrees or so. So that's cool. Get a good whirlpool going inside. Brewers crack. <laughs> okay. Over what time period should I reduce the pump power? Just over, just slowly over time. Oh, I'm good. Thank you, dude. Take a look. Doing a little, doing a little um, whirlpool in there. Heck yeah. Drop it down to 35%, like you said there. Definitely knocking it down a little faster. <clears throat> um, Dries, uh, the, the purpose of the condenser is to a couple things. Mainly for me is reducing the steam Good that, no that uh, is produced by the system by boil off, and then a couple other benefits to it is is um, you have less boil off, so you don't really need to boil as much liquid. Um, and then uh, I guess I mean that's really the the two main benefits of it uh, as far as. Anything else? I mean, there might be some other benefits to it, but I, I think the biggest thing for me is, you know, not needing a hood. And then... So uh, you reduce it all the way to zero percent, the pump? No, that's the heating element. Oh, yeah, that goes. Okay. Whew, and then, on. you know, the, the boil-off factor is, is the other thing. Okay, 100%. I see northern trouble. Oh. Oh, hey, you're late, but you're here. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Where you been, John? <laughs> Probably didn't think I remembered your name, did you? Um, you should run the pump at 100% now. Yep. Mm. Oh, it is. Yep. Mm. The ramp mm. down when you... Oh, I'll probably wind up okay, chilling it down. down. Yeah, I'll probably wind up chilling it down um, to 
I don't know, a little bit less than this, and then uh, let it sit for a little while because I've got to clean the fermenters and stuff. I couldn't do that with the condenser running, so clean the fermenters and all that stuff and uh, get it transferred over. Yeah. Get it fermenting. Beautiful. That's right. Using two different yeasts on this one, using uh, US 04 and US 05 and see which one you like better. Um, one of them's an English style of yeast, yeah. the other one's like an American but yeast. But I've never so. just gone, mm, mm, Well, mm. that was the two yeasts that I used in the different porters. The I party, the party, style por the party porter was the 05 and then this is that the porter English is style? the 04. Which is the <clears> English style 05? The one now, 04. 04? Hmm. Now is a good time to sanitize the front port left out. Okay, cool. All right, we'll do. I probably actually do it a little bit later, just because of the fact that I'm gonna I gotta clean some fermenters and stuff. And when I sanitize those, I'll sanitize all that stuff. So more than trouble. Hi, Brian and Kelly. Life got <laughs> away from me. Understood. I understand that for sure. Time flies. Uh, yes, the condenser is an add-on, as well as the uh, the the steam hat. I do want to say uh, again, I thoroughly appreciate the guys at Brew Tools hanging out today with us and, know, and awesome. guiding us along the way. I mean, I, I, I couldn't ask for, for better. Yeah. And, um, it just you know, makes you feel solid too. Yeah. By think, this, you know, they've got your back. Yeah. I think if, if anybody is interested in the system and, and wants to see a brew day, this will be a great thing for them. They can watch a brew day and I'll, I'll put links in there and they can jump around, but you know, they can see, they can see what the recommendations are from Brew Tools. I mean, it's, it's, and it's I've, it's okay it, it's okay to see posts and read guides and all that kind of stuff, but to actually see it in action and see their feedback as yeah. I'm doing it and was very valuable service. to somebody. I think their customer service. Yeah, is absolutely. Spot yep. on. Yep. Yeah. So I, I think I think it'll be invaluable to, um, you know, to anyway, somebody that's looking yeah. either to get a system or or looking it's to learn amazing. how to brew. I on, wanted so. to take a nap two times. I felt so comfortable. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, thanks, John. It's uh, quite the quite the specimen for sure. <laughs> yeah, thanks, thanks Francisco. Francisco. Appreciate it. We will definitely, lab. definitely, definitely let you know how it turns out. Definitely for sure. And uh, we'll have to bring a couple of bottles to NHC to share with the guys at Brew Tools. Northern Trouble likes your new brew lab. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> All you need is a sink. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and a drink. So hopefully, uh, hopefully the guys at Brew Tools enjoyed the enjoyed the brew day and hanging out with everybody. I know that we're they got to ask a, or answer a fair amount of questions and uh, yeah. had some good interaction. So I uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And we certainly enjoyed you guys uh, hanging out with us and being here for the brew day. So Wonderful. thank you very much. Yeah. Much appreciated. Fantastic. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited. <clears throat> hmm. Well, Miss Holly, I do declare, I think it's time for a nap. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just give me a pillow. Thanks, Brew Tools. Yeah, absolutely. Had a, had a blast for sure. <clears throat> uh oh, the best part is still to come. <laughs> the reveal. Exactly. <laughs> <clears throat> well, I think probably with that, I'm going to go ahead and sign off because there's no reason for uh, for you guys to watch the cleanup and all that kind of stuff. And it's the, so the, fun. The, the, yeah, right? exactly. It's so much fun because. So our back is to the camera. To watch and someone else cleaning. They can possibly catch a glimpse <laughs> of the crack. And <laughs> you mean your Haynes? Haynes. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Larry, thanks for hanging out, buddy. I certainly appreciate it. See you at NHCPs. See you. Hey, ben, and no problem, Ben, at all. Thank you so much, everybody. It's been an awesome day. Thank thanks you. for hanging out, Thomas. Pop Rod. Appreciate it, everybody. Everybody enjoy the rest of their Sunday. Thanks again.